Look, we're figuring out the theme song at the moment, all right? Oh, that's how we're starting. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Technically, the second episode, we already did an episode. It was the wrap-up of the last So year. maybe if there's some new listeners for 2024, that it's their New Year's resolution to listen to a new podcast, a great podcast with yeah. two friends who might be brothers <laughs> who do a podcast <laughs> about pop culture and movies and whatever. Yep. And they're like, I hope there's not an impenetrable like reference or in-joke right at the start. Mm-hmm. And, and suddenly an insane man is shouting, like, we haven't changed the theme song. <laughs> we haven't changed it. The, ch- maybe, they're like, I, don't, I haven't even heard a theme song. Maybe there's no theme song then. Fine. There's no theme song this week. <laughs> no. And maybe we'll just keep it that way. This I don't grim. know. All right? People are going to hit play and it'll be like, is this the funeral episode? <laughs> What's going on? Or the, the apology episode. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry we got cancelled over the Christmas break. For being too real. And for saying Christmas. <laughs> That's why we got, we got cancelled. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me as always, my co-host Nick Mason. It's good to be back. It is Mason. This is a big episode for us for a number of reasons. We got cancelled, but one, we're back. Yep, back. Second episode of the year, technically, because the, the, the wrap-up one was early January. But Mason, more impenetrable logistics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. Yeah. We're going to be talking about the biggest. Maybe you lost a bet, and, and the oh. conditions of you losing the bet where you have to listen to our podcast. Maybe you, know? you did. Maybe that happens a lot. <laughs> Is that how we grow? Yep, that that's makes right. sense. So we're going to talk the most anticipated movies of the year and some TV shows and some other bits and pieces. But we've got so much news to catch up over from the month we've been away, Mason. So much news and so much what we're reading, I bet. Uh, No doubt. Here's Mm. something that we're going to talk about. There's time codes below. Collings, who edits this, does all this, puts it all together. He did that amazing uh, best of episode. That came out a few weeks, which back. I'm pretty sure he's like manufacturing bits, yeah, out of with AI because otherwise, because every every year I'm like, well, I guess there's not going to be a best of this year because I don't remember saying nothing funny. <laughs> so and you didn't, I didn't, <laughs> but he still did it. He did it. Yeah, congratulations. So we're going to talk about the next Fast and Furious movie and also the next Jurassic World trilogy. And they're the same movie. They could be. Yeah, the Max is coming oh, to cinemas. Yeah. Star Wars news, Mason. Oh yes. We're going to talk about Top Gun three. And a Tom Cruise development deal that happened. Maybe they're the same movie. Maybe they are. Maybe not. this is all the same movie. It's not the same movie. But this is 2024, just mushing everything in. I mean, that will it's happen. Not about, it's not about shared universes. It's just every movie, every studio is colluding, and every movie is going to have a teaser for the next movie. Oh my Even God. if it's a different company. Oh, or, my God. Uh, right? Mason. Right? Dom and whatever. They're like, oh, family, we did it. We Dom de- and whatever. We defeated that evil genie in the form of Jason Momoa. <laughs> oh, no, he summoned dinosaurs. You know? <laughs> yeah, great. We're going we're gonna to Hot Wheels off that Brachiosaur or whatever. Yep, and you know? this is also Dino Riders. <laughs> oh, yes. All right? All right. <laughs> Not all right. Yes, please. <laughs> Why haven't they weaponized the dinosaurs in that? I mean, they, they did in the last Jurassic World. There'll be more weaponizing of dinosaurs, no doubt. What we'll talk about. And then we're going to do hot, quick news where we're just going to go through a bunch of thing, things we have to talk about but maybe don't have the time necessarily. It'll be a big episode, I feel That's like. That's right. Mason. Hello. This is by Jeff Snyder who said the next Fast and Furious movie, Fast and Furious X1 or whatever it's going to be called, <laughs> yeah, Fast and Furious right. X Part 2. I don't I, know if they're doing Part 2s. Not doing those anymore. So I read so I read recently that uh, the one of the reasons, one of the many reasons that probably Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 did poorly, all the other reasons we've mentioned in previous episodes. Because it got killed by Oppenheimer and Barbie. Killed by Oppenheimer and Barbie, bad release time, yep. bad marketing, strikes, budget, or budget, budget all high, the things. Yeah. But also because people don't like part ones. No. Because they're like, oh, but it, what, I'm gonna have to watch this and then I don't we don't yeah. get a, we gotta get a resolution and then when's the next one in a year, two exactly. years? Exactly. So Avengers Infinity War wasn't called Avengers number three, get ready for Avengers number four. That's right. Number you know? three, everybody dies at the end. Half yeah. the people actually die yeah. at the end. They yeah. turn to dust. Maybe they're dead, they're not dead. <laughs> Obviously they're not dead. We're gonna kill Spider Man, then we're gonna do a Spider Man movie where he's dead. No. Idiots, you stupid idiots. Are you saying that Sony would never do a Spider-Man movie without Spider-Man? I am saying that. <laughs> and 2024 will be the year I've proven correct. <laughs> what are we talking about? I forgot. So basically the Fast and Furious – well, no, that's true because, like, who wants to see part one of anything? Mm. You know, it's it totally makes sense. Yeah. Because a lot of people were tricked into a fin- Infinity War thinking – that big it finish. Was. Big, big finish. finish, yeah. But not big finish. People were genuinely surprised in the cinema. They're like, yeah. what? And in fact, it, Captain, doesn't Captain America go, we lost? Yeah. And it goes, the end. Yeah. Last movie. Surprise. <laughs> big surprise for you idiots. You idiots. You stupid idiots. <laughs> Ten years of this. And they lost. That's how this ends. You're, You're an idiot. idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> 
Well, that's great stuff. Yeah. But apparently, according to Jeff Snyder, the next Fast and Furious, Fast and Furious X1 or whatever, mm. is going to be back to basics, lean and mean. And by that, they mean they're going to go back to what the original movies are kind of about. Stealing, stealing DVD, DVD players, players. Yeah. and whatever. Or I, I, I assume he means like the bank vault heist. Yeah. Okay, like that's sure, what sure. he's talking about, right? Mm, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Because Fast X cost $340 million. It sure did. I don't yeah. know if you know that. Yeah. So the aim That's for- a drop that big ball in Italy. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a big Italy ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They aim for this one to cost less, less, less than we forget, Mason. <laughs> oh, yes. It's going to cost less than $200 million. Wow. Okay. An absolute steal. Wow. To bring back Paul Walker's carcass, which is what they've got to do. Oh, no. Carcass, Mason. Wow. There's a joke for you about a man who died. That's a good joke. First of, the, first of the year. First joke of the year. There we go. Put that in the best of. <laughs> Start off the best of for 2024. <laughs> what do you think? Of that joke. Really good. <laughs> what do you think of this concept? I think they have to. I mean. What? You can't make another one of these, can you? Because, I mean, they went to space. No, yeah. Not really. No. Stratosphere, maybe. Or no, whatever. but I mean, they didn't really go to space. They no, didn't, oh, they sure, didn't, yeah. They didn't shoot Ludacris into space. But Tom Cruise is doing a movie in space. Remember, he's doing oh, a yeah. space movie. Where yeah. he's in space, they're filming in space. Uh yeah. I think I th- I think they 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 need to strip these movies back eventually. It's yeah. good because there's no again there there are there are heights that you hit literally, space. and then space, and then there's no further. Yeah, you know. So people, are, it's it's it is like the Marvel stuff. I think they should have gone more back to basics after Endgame. Yes. So people have a chance to reset and go. And you know, he's a small scale thing. I guess the question then becomes. How are they going to do this in eleven? Considering at the last one, the dam exploded, the and dam his car exploded, and his son and him are at the bottom of the dam, and all the water's going to crush them from the dam that's yeah, exploded. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I guess they'll just have a drain. Yeah, a drain there. To be well, like, they'll just, just in front of them. Just cut back to the house and go. Thank God, my car was re- repaired, and I, we got away. And now we're having a barbecue. Yeah, and we're going to steal some DVDs. Yeah, just a more welcome. You're in the family. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm glad all my stunts, my secretly non-lethal stunts got your attention. I just wanted to be friends. Let's steal some stuff. Jack Reacher, welcome. You're also welcome. Oh, thank you. It's good to be back. I'm Jack Reacher. I pretended to be evil, but actually we're friends. We're three big friends. Three big friends. John said you're still alive. Four big friends. Fast and Furious X1, four big friends. Four big friends. (laughs) <laughs> we're big and we're friends. And that's good to see, I think. Because you thought big men couldn't be friends, but we're friends. You can be friends. Yeah. That's the lesson of this. So there you go. It's supposed to be the last one. Or at one point it was going to be one of three. Oh, that's not happening. I don't know. I, think, no. I don't know. I mean, if this next one does well, mm. they'll, 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 they're will they they reassessing movie to movie, obviously. Yeah, they absolutely are, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. This one's by Teo Char Mason. There's a new Jurassic Park slash world movie in the works with writer David K- K- what's Coep? Coep? It's K-O-E-P-P. Quep? Kerp? Kerp. Kerp. Anyway, he wrote the original Jurassic Park screenplay along with The Lost World. Oh. And now they're going to be launching a new Jurassic era, says sources, with an all new storyline, which is good because you don't just want to do the storylines that we've already seen. Okay. Are we talking a reboot here? No. Okay. So it seems that this kind of new set of movies will rule out returning characters, including Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, and it won't- Rule them out. Rule them out. They're not coming back. They're the big big draws. Yeah, no, no, no. Big draws. No, the big draws are the dinosaurs, Mason. (laughs) They're wearing big draws? They're wearing big draws. And that also means like no Sam Neill, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum also. So So movies that will fail. (laughs) No, because the Jurassic World was huge. Jurassic World Dominion was bad. And it made a billion dollars. Which one was that? The last one, where oh. they went to Jurassic World again. Bug World. Bug World. Yeah, Bug World. World. They, okay, that one. Right. What's so, the middle one? Has there been three yeah, Jurassic Yeah, there's one with a spooky house. Oh, yeah, spooky house, right. Spooky house where like, you laser guide a dinosaur. The spooky house rent a dinosaur. Yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. So I think these, though, are big because at the moment, and we're seeing this, monsters in movies are big. Monsters That's and true. creatures. I mean, the MonsterVerse is doing really well. Obviously, Apple TV just wrapped up their show, which was mm-hmm. very well received. I enjoyed it a lot. Godzilla minus Godzilla one. Godzilla minus one. Godzilla X Kong. He's got a he's got a gauntlet now in the next mm. one, and Pink Godzilla. Yep. All of the uh, the Planet of the Apes movies are back, and That's people true. love those. This looks like these. This if there was a sure thing at the moment, and there never is. No. It's stuff like this. Creature features. Creature, creature okay. features. Exactly. What do you want to see in another Jurassic? Park slash world movie. Do you I want to if, call it Jurassic Park slash world? I think if they're going back. Slash world. Slash world. I think if they're going back to the screenwriter, I think they're going to aim for something that's more akin to those, the first one in particular. Do you want there to be a third island? Whatever. Great. 
Whatever, Mason. <laughs> okay, terrific. I know. You know what I want? Yes. I want the world overrun by dinosaurs. Yeah. The thing that they said they were going to do, which In they Jurassic didn't. World Dominion, which yeah. they didn't. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. You know, like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes or whatever, except it's dinosaurs. Mm. And the dinosaurs aren't talking to each other. I don't want that. Okay. I don't yeah. want them to do sign language. Okay, I just yeah. want dinosaur world. Yeah. You know, what, what happened? You know, because remember at the end of the last one, they're like, the dinosaurs are in the mm. real world. Isn't that weird? Yeah, and that's probably bad. Because I think what they probably wanted, because the, the teasers for the last Jurassic World movie were that, which was, and, and the suggestion of rent a dinosaur, dinosaurs in a house, yeah. was that they were going to spread across the world and, and they were going to overrun the world. But then I think they probably crunched the numbers and went, there aren't enough dinosaurs yep. that escaped to do that in a small span of time, so we're going to have to do bugs. Yeah. I think they what they want to do is they want to have terrifying dinosaur world but they want it self-contained in a little box like a jurassic world like a jurassic world and but the rest of the world is fine so we can relate to that yeah but i don't want that no i want, I want an evolution of the universe like mad max it yes exactly that's mm. right yeah i think that would be fun yeah because and i i because i think they want to be i think they want at the end of every movie to just reset it and go well we solved the problem and everything's fine everybody now. come and look at jurassic park. and if we want to do a jurassic park again we can do it but i think you're right i think there needs to be that they uh, you can break continuity with the real world at this point. I think that's probably yeah. fine, you know? It's fine. Yeah. The real world sucks. Let's see an even worse world. I think it's cool. Really? Yeah. Have what? you ever seen a sunrise? I try not to. Have you ever seen a sunset? I try not to. Have you ever seen the sun? Have you ever stared at the sun? It's beautiful. My own sun? No. No. Okay, great. What's the question? I I'm not on caffeine at the moment, mate. No, I, I, was, I was waiting for you to mention <laughs> that. You've, you've, you've cut caffeine out for health reasons yep. and... So on and so forth. Yeah, yeah. Nothing serious. Just so I just what I like to do, I like to find something that I Your really heart's like. Your heart's leaking. Yeah, and then overdo it, and then take that thing away, and I have one less piece of joy in my life. That's how I live. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you can see it in your eyes. <laughs> anyway, Mason, if you see James on the street, yeah. I always say generally, if you see me on the street, come up, say hi. I love, I love, I love uh, talking to the listeners. Yeah. If you see, come James- and say hi. I love you. Is what Mason yeah, wants see, you to yeah. say. Yeah. If you uh, if you see James on the street. Walk up to a vending machine. Don't break eye contact, <laughs> contact with him. Because I'm Purch- coming at you. Purchase a, a full sugar Coca-Cola <laughs> and tr- just open it in front of him. <laughs> keep maybe 100 metres distance. You're going to need and, that space. Yeah, and ke- keep, keep an eye on him and just sip it slowly <laughs> until it's empty and then crumple it up and throw it in a bin. All the ground. Yeah, all the ground. Yeah. Because it's a beautiful world. Yeah. Now, Mason, I've got some names here, potential movies, because if you can't call it Jurassic Park, just the or Jurassic names. World, okay, right, okay. This is where you got to go. Some of these may be chat uh, AI related. I don't know. Some, so you haven't all. made these up. Some of them I made up. I don't believe you. So, no, I have. Okay, here we go. Jurassic Universe. This is a comedy bit you're doing. Sort of, but also I think some of these could would, would, would what they pick. Okay. Jurassic Universe, Jurassic Fury, Jurassic Dawn, Jurassic Legacy, Jurassic Reckoning, Jurassic Reloaded, Jurassic Revolutions, Jurassic Resurrections, Jurassic Nemesis, Jurassic Genesis, Jurassic Uprising, Jurassic Dennis Nedry can of shaving cream. I love that. That's Returns. a good one, actually. <laughs> Returns. <laughs> That's good. So I think if they went Jurassic Uprising, Dawn, Jurassic Dawn, something oh, like that, yep. I okay. think it'll be something like that. What if they change it to whatever the next era is in the dinosaur, whatever the thing? Cretaceous something. Or Cretaceous whatever. something. Jurassic Cretaceous. Jurassic Cretaceous, yes. <laughs> it might be. I don't know what era the dinosaur yeah, stuff yeah, happens Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not, we're not we the know. detail guys. We're yeah. the big idea guys. Change it to a different era. Yeah. You know? But Cretaceous. I, I, you know what? There probably is a Cretaceous park. I bet those asylum types oh, sure, made yeah, a fake yeah. one called Cretaceous yeah. Park. But you can't use it because people won't know. You have That's to true. put Jurassic in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, dinosaur movies forever. I don't care if they're bad. Let's just keep going. Okay. Let's keep going. Right? Now, you say that now, but a mere few weeks ago when we talked about the best 65. and worst of the year, 65, what did you say about that? It's not a very good movie. There we go. But Jurassic. But I guess it was Dinosaur a movies forever. doesn't okay. matter. Okay, great. I don't care. I mean, it's not our I didn't money, like the it? last one of these and I still want to see more of these. It's not about me. Well, yeah. No, it is, actually. And I want more of these. It seems a lot about you, it actually. Is. This seems very egocentric. I haven't seen you. The Sun, Mason. Uh, next up, we've got news regarding the Max. Okay, so this is Sam Keith's image original comic book from image comic many years ago about a big purple man who might live in a dream, which also was an animated series for a number of years. It was, yeah, which I didn't know about at all until I was researching this. Did you yeah. know that? I think they, they saw it at a that, comic book convention because that didn't air here or like during the day. It yeah. absolutely would not have. Yeah. It might have aired on cable at some point, yeah. maybe. I don't know. Mm. So for those people who don't know, the original series follows the adventures of the Max, who appears in both the real world and an alternate reality, the Outback. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Australia? Yeah. Sort of. Okay. Yep. In the real world, he's a homeless man living in a box. But in the Outback, he's Paul Hogan. 
Uh, no, he's a powerful masked being who is the protector of the jungle queen. And he's a big purple guy. He's got a big jutting out jaw. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to track down a weird the Max story, I believe there's a Max Batman crossover. Okay, and that I remember that being very very trippy. Okay, good. Yeah, so they still making these comic books? Oh, every once in a while. Yeah, they still making comic books. No, yeah. No. Uh, money in it. So, yeah, created by Sam Keith, and it's getting the screen treatment from Channing Tatum and Roy Lee, producer Roy Lee. It seems at the moment that there's no word on whether there's going to be a series or a movie. Is this going to be the next hot thing, Mason? Might be the Image next Image comics hot thing. from the 90s. Oh, uh, the Max Batman was 2021. There you go. There you go. That was a thing that happened. Oh, great art. And it's got big long ears Batman in it. Oh, my God. I love big ears Batman. This, check out this. I'm big ears Batman. There's some of the longest ears you'll ever see. They were those are dream page. ears. You can't, even, you can't even keep them on the page. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, love love Sam Keith and the Mac. So that's exciting. Yeah, Will okay. it be good? Don't know. Who cares? <laughs> you don't care? No, I care. Mm. But like, it doesn't matter ultimately. Sure. No, it. I, I think Channing Tatum. Give him a give him a comic book movie. Just give him give him at least one. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what Channing Tatum. How old's Channing Tatum? He's probably our 42 age. Forty two, maybe. Okay, right. Yeah. So he would maybe be. He'd be in that era. That, this was probably. This might have been a formative comic book for him. Maybe it seems team. like it was. Yeah. His. Yeah. I think is the the thing that he said was like, I love this. Oh, I love as a kid. Go. Now I'm a man. Now I can do what I want. That's right. I got abs for Magic Mike three. Nobody saw it. Where? Hmm. I assume he yeah. would think. I would think that. What are you getting abs for? If no one's seen your abs. Great point. Pointless. Waste of time. He should have been stripper with a long sleeve shirt on. <laughs> Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars news, Mason. Ah, oh, all right. <laughs> no, it's... I was trying to be refreshed and positive at the start of the, start of the year. But and you then, are. Yeah. You are, Mason. Okay, here's the Star Wars news. What's the Star Wars news? Is it a big Star Wars movie time? Sometimes. I don't believe you. Bearing in mind, some of this won't happen. Which the parts? The movies. The movies part won't we'll happen. We'll see. Apparently, the Ray movie at the moment, it's happening, but it wasn't happening, and now it looks like it's probably going to happen at this point. Okay, sure. I don't know. That was the vaguest sentence anyone's ever said. Well, that's what happened while we were away. It was like, it's happening, it's not mm. happening, it is happening. Yeah. Adam Driver's like, we talked, I think we talked about this before the break. He doesn't. He said, I'm not back. Ray. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. Stop asking me about this. I was the other one. I was the other His one. His name I can't recall. <laughs> yeah. I was in it. Yeah. Han Solo. Mm. He was in it too. So, yeah, apparently John Boyega's might return and whatever. God, sure. they're going to be throwing a lot of money oh, around. Oh, there was for that this. big controversy because the woman who's directing it, there was. And a quote that was taken out of context, which was something like, I like to make men uncomfortable or something oh, in my right, okay, sure. But it was about like a documentary she made like six years ago. Right. It wasn't like, I like to make men mad in my Star Wars movies. I'm going to make men mad by ruining Star Wars because <laughs> only men like Star Wars and I'm going to ruin it And I want people them. to harass me for the rest of my life. They're still hiring me for some reason. <laughs> I said I was going to ruin Star Wars for men and they're like, let's let's make this happen. Yeah. Kathleen Kennedy gave me a big high five. <laughs> and a lot of money. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not saying this could be good. It, I mean, it could be good. It could oh, be. Go, I mean, could it's going to be bad because it's making men mad. I mean, it could be fucking dreadful. But like that story was like nothing. It yeah. was just an excuse to make a thumbnail and be like, "What? This bitch or whatever." You know the thumbnails yeah. that people do. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. For all accounts, she seems like a nice woman. And let's see, let's see what happens. Yeah. Let's have Star Wars movies or cancel them. I don't know. Next up, uh, we've got con- confirmation of the Mandalorian season four, Ahsoka season two, which is Rebel season six. I don't okay. Know. Mm-hmm. And the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda are having a movie. And I think it's called... <laughs> We're having a movie. I think it's called The Mandalorian and Grogu, isn't it, or something like that? I've got a question for you, James. I'm ready. The other day I texted you about something. No, I don't And you sent so. me a back a text, and it was a picture of you cradling, like in the, in the, in the stance of you cradling a baby. Yeah. But instead of a baby, it was just the word great. <laughs> Where is that from? A friend of mine made it for me. Okay. It's a picture of me yes. holding my I've son. I've explained it very well. Bo- I know, but the original picture yes. was me holding my son uh-huh. and we were having a back and forth about something. And he said that back. His response was great. And he sent it back with wow. me. Ho- so there's not an assortment of those. <laughs> I mean, there is, but they're private, except for of that course, one, which sorry. has gone to you. Yeah. yeah, and it's gone viral now. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Wow. It's private, Mason. Wow. Can I just have a private moment? No, everything's content. Yeah. Anyway, the Mandalorian movie, what do you think? Are people coming to cinemas for the Mandalorian movie, or is this like a homework movie where you're like, I didn't watch whatever? Oh, that's a great whatever. question. I guess it is. I think they're going to have to prep audiences and say you don't. For the seasons? With no, friends. absolutely not. No. <laughs> I think it might just be you do not need to know anything. Or maybe all you need is season one of The Mandalorian yeah. or something, the one that everybody watched and, yeah. and had nice things to say Mandalorian, about. Mandalorian, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't, don't worry, worry about, about it. it. <laughs> Forget, Forget about, about it. it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be nice. I mean, you know, I, I, th- I think it's probably a fine line, but I think they're going to have to pitch it like 
a new hope. Yeah. Like this stuff came before and stuff is going to happen afterwards, but it doesn't matter. You're jumping in on this epic adventure. Even though, to, to be clear, a lot of things have happened. So many things, There's been yeah. 50 years of content nearly from Star yeah. Wars. You're going to, I don't know. Also, I, John Favreau is directing this. Oh, okay. Well, like. like. Like that, John Favreau. Yeah. He's done things. He's done things. I think you're going to, or maybe just the trailer gets you up to speed really quickly with yeah. a quick montage yeah, or sure. something. I don't know. And also it can't be just an episode. Oh, yeah. You know, it, yeah. it's like, well, they're on the volume and they visit a sand planet, and yeah. whatever, which I'm sure they're not going to do. But it, could, but it also can't be like, well, the entire universe is going to explode unless. Well, that's going because it's going into Thrawn as well. Remember because then Dave <laughs> Filoni's doing his Thrawn movie. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. After okay. Mandalorian season four slash Ahsoka season two slash mm. Rebel season six. Oh, this is getting worse and worse the more you say. I think it's all right. Okay, great. I don't think you need to worry about it. All quite right. Big. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You I'm look not- stressed. No, I'm not. You're bare, stressed with I'm all stress, this I'm stress free and, and moisturized and in my lane and whatever the, all of that other that name that people say. I'm so moisturized. Um, I I mean, I think people will, might be enthused because it's not a Jedi Star Wars movie. It's a different aspect of that okay. universe. So I think yeah. that could be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think the whole Disney Plus thing is we've seen this with Marble. Mm-hmm. Marble. We've seen this with Marvel, and the Marvel has made people go crazy. Yeah. And just like, what what of this do I need to see and do I even care? Yeah. You know? And when will it arrive on Disney Plus if yeah. I don't see it at cinemas? Soon. Yeah, very soon. Don't worry about it. 45 day window. Yeah. Don't even bother. Uh, some don't things, even bother. Some things go straight to Amazon or whatever. We'll talk about it in a bit. Oh. Like, uh, yeah. Do you even watch him reach a Yeah, season? I've watched the whole Isn't Reacher it bad? It's, it's good. People say it's worse than season one. It's the same. Isn't he got a team now? And people are like, we hate that he's got a team. Probably. I think I heard the next season he's not going to have a team. He's going to kill You him haven't off. heard anything. That's what, they're, remember, that's what they're saying. You don't know. What do you mean I haven't heard you're anything? Not a, you're you don't know a, what I've heard. You're not a Reach. I'm on break. You're not a Reach like I'm me. I'm not. I'm absolutely not. Yeah. I th- think he's fucking insufferable as a character. <laughs> yep. I'm bulletproof and only eat hamburgers and I can do push-ups, but I, you never see me do any kind of exercise. You know, you know what it is? Yes. It's that it's the exact like Mary Sue thing. Yeah, right. Except uh-huh. people don't give a shit. Mm. So why is this guy get a pass for like like and look, he should get a pass because uh-huh. it's a fictional character. Sure. But where's the uproar, Mason? That's a great question. And, and I like the dude as well. The yeah. Alan uh, Rich, Richman, Richson. Yes. Richson. I like it. I, yeah. I've I've watched multiple interviews with him, uh-huh. like about the series. But I watched interviews with him. Yeah, about me and the him sit together. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good joke. Welcome back. <laughs> but <laughs> first one of those of the year. <laughs> but but I don't care about I I don't, I'm not a sure. fan really. I don't know sure. there's something about him. I think it's Yeah, he's he's great. Yeah. I like him a lot. Yeah. I like how he's enormous. Mm. Enjoy that about him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At one point he kicks a guy's car and the airbag goes off <laughs> in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy in the car's like <laughs> You kicked my car. Does he ever fight a big guy? Yeah. No, he fights he fights some guys who are roughly his size. Okay. So that's an enormous guy. Love that for him. Mm. Making waves. Yeah. Uh, last bit of news is via Daniel Richman, who does a lot of scooping. Oh, yeah. Pretty good record, let me just say. All right, okay. Uh, no one's 100%. Maybe us. We're 100%. Yeah. He says because that- Because sometimes we'll say something like it's a fact. And yeah. It turns out not to be true later, but you have to know that at the time when we're reciting the scoop, we're a, going like- Ugh. It's a joke. We're going- Ugh. We're doing it ironically. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, okay. Ugh. Yeah. We don't even care. We don't even care, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. 100% strike rate. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> He says there's going to be a what if Star Wars animated series akin to what Marvel are doing. They've okay. done this. We've talked about them in Caravan of Garbage. We've got episodes on them. They they were called Star Wars Infinities, mm. and they take each of the original Star Wars movies and they take a turn. One of them takes a turn so much that Yoda crashes the Death Star into the Coruscant, and kills like a billion people. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you think right. I'm joking, I'm not joking. That's a real <laughs> thing that happened. Drunk I was. <laughs> <laughs> so diminished capacity I had. <laughs> He's in court. He was supposed to go around. He was supposed to go around. He was trying to reverse park. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he hit Coruscant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that's fun. Felt I drove better after a few drinks. Yeah. I felt. <laughs> um, anything particularly you want to see? Uh, Luke, do, mo- do a big flip. What if Kylo Ren was whatever? Oh, yeah. Han Solo, but he was this. Different colored lightsabers? Yeah, man. What if Kylo what? Ren had two lightsabers, but they were blue and they had the sparky bits on the sides? But other than that, it's exactly the same. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Great. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see that. What if the Sith were good and the Jedi were bad? <gasps> what about that? It'd be the same. Different colored lightsabers. Different colored lightsabers, you're right. Yeah. Uh, Obi-Wan's got a red lightsaber. What do you think about that? I love it. Mm-hmm. I love that for him. 
Um, so yeah, there you go. That might happen or it might not. I don't know. Um, <laughs> all of that. File all of that under it might happen or it might not. Yeah. Yeah. But we should do a cut. Okay. And it will happen. Mm-hmm. And it definitely won't happen. And either one of those will go on the best of. One of those will go on the best of, exactly. And then yeah. we'll be right. That's right, yeah. yeah. It's by a puck. It says Top Gun 3 is in development. Oh. THR also reporting. Top Gun that 3, Goose. Goose is alive? Yep. I mean, he, he, oh, a son of Goose or original Goose? Both. Tom Cruise's. There's two seats in that F-14, Tom baby. Cruise's character is killing everybody in that universe. From the 80s. Have you noticed that? It's, it's yeah, the only so. one left. I saw an interview recently the with Val Kilmer, just a clip of it. Yeah. And apparently Kilmer is a bit salty because back in the original days, the original Top Gun, if you look at that volleyball scene, there's no like one close-up shots of Val Kilmer looking real ripped. Oh. And, he's, and he's saying like the director came up to him at the time and went, oh, all your close-up shots were cooked. Like they could, like they were overexposed or underexposed. Oh. So we couldn't use any of them. So there's a bunch of shots of... Tom Cruise looking, looking real lean. And there's some like group shots, but there's no Kilmer. And Kilmer's like, I think, I think he got in the director's ear and got him to like oh, damn. delete those shots. That, I look, it wouldn't surprise me. Mm. God damn. I always just assumed he looked really good in that movie, though. So in my heart, it doesn't matter to me. Well, there must be some group shots where he's looking ripped. Right? Surely there's a group Surely shot. Surely there's a group shot. Did you enjoy that scene more or did you enjoy Everybody plays football at each other in the new version. Yeah, you know, yeah, they like all random football or whatever they yeah, the play. The scene where they play football and they sing random great football. balls of fire at each other. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yes, yeah, so it was good. They had to reshoot that twice, not twice, just once. They reshot <laughs> it one time. Apparently, again, similar story. Actually, it didn't. Oh, it's just bad lighting yeah. at the beach. Interesting. Whoa, interesting. But mm. it's Tom Cruise didn't like it, I assume. Is Tom Cruise shirtless in Maverick? Yes, for uh, that bit. Okay, yeah. But he's very specific with his shirtless stuff. Yeah, of course. Um. But you got to be. Yeah. But you got to be when you're 70,000 years old. Uh, so Puck says that blah, blah, it's in development. Joseph Kaczynski will return mm-hmm. to direct and Cruz. Because he's not directing Tren. No. We'll talk about Tren later, we'll I talk imagine. about Tren. <laughs> <When> <laughs> and Cruz re- reunite with co-stars Glenn Powell and Miles Teller, which makes sense. Yeah, okay, or sure. Top Gun, I guess. One. Uh, now, here's the thing. Uh, mm. Would you say that Top Gun Maverick was lightning in a bottle? Do you think they can just do that again? I think it will do well. I, I, I don't know if it will do as well as this one did. Because I feel like... It a just lot came of, out at the perfect time. Yeah, and a lot of people, I think, are, are down on the Top Gun script. They're like, no, it's pretty simple, blah, blah, blah. But I think there's a there's an art to there's a very... There's more to it than that. There's yeah. an art to a simple mm. script that, that works on every level, which yeah. this mostly did, despite the fact that, you know, it's got those weird plot devices where they're fighting the enemy and then they go into the valley and they go to the country. And they have to do, this, do Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to defeat this tin pot nation that has better fighter planes than us yeah. for some reason. Yeah. Pretty cool. Who were they? Canada. It seemed like Canada to me. Yeah. It would be. Trudeau, you know what he's like. Yeah, that's right. Or yeah. what he isn't like. Mm, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. he says, but what does he yeah, really yeah, say? Yeah. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. yeah, just to be clear, I don't like him, but for not for the reasons that other people like. don't like him. <laughs> okay. Oh, you've got your own special <laughs> secret reasons. No, I mean for normal reasons. Oh, okay. Not just like he's a secret pedophile communist. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> so to be clear, that's what you think or what you don't think? <laughs> I'm, look, it doesn't matter. I think he's a bad prime minister for reasons outside of the lunatic oh, shit. Oh, so you think some F-14 Tomcats should go and blow up his valley facility? Fuck it. Why not? Wow. Mason, uh, this is also this is a via variety. Tom Cruise, uh, he's moving to Warner Brothers. Huh, is he going to live in the uh, is he gonna live in the water tower <laughs> of the Animaniacs? That's right. It's <laughs> great. It is, this is what they say in the article. The ageless action star signed Disagree. In- <laughs> The aging but still looks good for 61 Agreed, action star. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, has signed a new deal to develop and produce theatrical films with Warner Brothers Discovery. These movies will be a mix of original productions and franchise fare and will star Cruz. The company uh, is uh, said to release uh, touting the deal. I've just cut it off in a weird way. Okay. This um, is this is new information to me. I had not heard this. Yeah, this yeah. is very recent. Yeah. Very, oh, I would love to weeks. see the contracts on this. Yeah, me because, too. Because, you know. How Cruz, tall can he be? How short can tall. he be? Yeah. What kind of hair's he got? He's going to do a new series of movies called Big Reacher. <laughs> <laughs> bigger, even, bigger Reacher. He's even bigger than Alan Richardson Reacher. Yeah. yeah. It's, right. it's a there's multiverse be, Reacher movie. Yes, so gonna, there's original Reacher, him, mm-hmm. Alan Richman Reacher, yep. and then an even bigger version of Tom Cruise. I think so, yes. A yeah. third Reacher. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. I love that, yeah. Yeah, and they're going to team up in the third one and both Tom Cruises are going to be bigger than Alan Richardson. Yeah. Also, we should point out, we've mentioned this before, but the Jack Reacher movies are the reason why Caravan of Garbage is called Caravan of Garbage because originally it was called Never Go Back. That's right. And then they released that Jack Reacher movie and we 
assumed that it would do very well. Yeah. And so changed the name. We should have held our ground. I don't know. It's fine. And also it gets more engagement of people being like, this uh, actually, good. this is a good movie. Well, it's not. <laughs> Guess what, idiot? It's not. <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, yeah. So Tom Cruise, is fu- he's going to a studio that famously for the last couple of years has been cancelling projects left yep. and right and just interfering yeah. and destroying stuff for tax reasons. Yep. And so I imagine this contract, it, it would it – would, because they're trying to get Nolan back as well. Yeah, this would suggest to me that they're they're flailing. Yeah, not surprising, and they're like, and they're willing to enter any any kind of deal because mm. there's no way he's going into this and this saying, would be a billion dollar deal. Yeah, yeah. There's no. no way he's going into this being like, yeah, if you, well, I'm going to make something for you, in, and then you in decide. the medium in the medium of cinema, which I love. Yeah, and if you can if you cancel, that's fine. There's no way. Yeah, it'd be like it'd be like you have to give me a billion dollars if you cancel. Yeah. This movie that I'm making for yeah, you, and I'm going to steal your youth. Ah, oh, this, ah, oh, these, 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 ah, oh, this. Tom Cruise's lawyers be having a good time, and they're Scientologist lawyers. Yeah, so you know they're having a good time. <laughs> Their billable hours are going through the roof. Ah, oh, <laughs> okay, I'm excited to see what this is because he's going to have full creative yeah. control. Like they're they're going to be making and all it sorts says of concessions. Here, again, it's a mix of original productions and franchise. Mm. So like, I know a lot of people go to this of like. Will he be a Green Lantern or whatever, you know? Oh, sure, right. I, I don't think that's a priority for him, but no. he could be like, give me $100 million and I'll be in two movies yeah, or whatever. True, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll show up and shake Superman's hand or whatever. Yeah. Or has the has the playing field leveled because Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning 1 did not do so well? Maybe he's somewhere in the middle. Maybe he is. You know? I don't know. I still think he's, again, as far as like sure things, he's one of the surest things. But even not the surest thing because there is no sure things except for Jurassic World movies. That's right. But I, well, well he's still, so Top Gun 3 is over somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paramount has the next Mission Impossible. Possible, which is already filmed. Mission Apostrophe, Mission you Apostrophe. can say it. Mason, I haven't had any caffeine, all right? Okay. But I like Mission Apostrophe. I don't you, know what it means. You and your troubles. It's, you a secret, me troubles. it's a secret team that goes around and they add apostrophes in inappropriate locations. Oh, inappropriate. Or they fix them. Yeah. You know? Sometimes they go rogue yeah. and it's one or the other of those two things. Yeah. So, yeah, he's got to get those done and then this will take off. Okay. Anyways, Mason, it's time for Hot Quick News. <laughs> I went to, the, went, to the, went to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates group and I threw it out there. So what do people want us to talk about? And here's are some of the things Uh-oh. that they want us to talk about outside of memes of things that we have said in the past. Let's make these Here hot and quick. Uh, Doug Lyman is taking a stand against the release of his Roadhouse movie, which has now been pushed directly to streaming. That's got Jake Gyllenhaal in it. It does. Uh, the idea, he said it's Jake Gyllenhaal's best performance ever. Whoa. Yeah, but you know. But he was a Mysterio. He was Mysterio. Yeah. And Nightcrawler, not the X Men, the other That's one. That's true. Creep Nightcrawler. I guess yeah. they're both creeps. He uh, was Donald Darko. <laughs> he was Donald Darko. <laughs> so apparently, Doug Lyman made it under. Was it MGM? Okay. For the idea that was going to be oh, a cinematic and then MGM release. Got and purchased by Amazon. Amazon right. purchases that they're putting. So he's not going to the premiere or whatever. Yeah, right. He's protesting, which now, is fair enough. Now he directed Swingers. Yep. Go. Do you remember Go? I remember Go. It was sort of a. It was pop fiction, but yeah, with dealing, young, with, with young and with young people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Born Identity. Yep, Mr. and Mrs. Oh, yeah. Smith. He did the first Born movie, yeah, which is true. incredible that yeah. he did that, and nobody, nobody remembers. Nobody remembers. <laughs> they think it's green grass. Yeah, Paul Greengrass. Well, the grass is always green grass, isn't that it? That is very true. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and I just got a push notification on my phone that says Mr. and Mrs. Smith season one coming soon. Great. I, I no, you got no, that no, just then. Just, literally just then. <laughs> Um, he also did Live, Die, Repeat, Age of Tomorrow. Yeah, Age of Tomorrow, Jumper, and American Maid, which is a Tom, Thomas, Thomas Cruise American Maid's good. Mm. These, they're good, good track record. Good track record. And guess what? There is no uh, personal life or controversy page on his Wikipedia. So Yet. Yet. <laughs> so this is great. I'm loving this guy. Yeah. Directed Swingers. Yeah. There you go. I, I thought it was Favreau. John Favreau did that. I always that. assumed it was Favreau. But he, did he write it? It doesn't matter. I don't know. Okay. Maybe he wrote and directed Maybe he made. wrote Made. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Written by John Favreau. There, there you go. go. Wow, we're so in sync. Yeah. Mason. Uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, uh, Roadhouse. Yeah. This is hot quick news, man. Oh, sorry. It has got to be quick. Get out of here. Get, here. get on. Get on out of here, Doug Lyman. Uh, there was a trailer for Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, yep. Uh, yes, that Caravan of Garbage is coming out. For that, great, great. it's happening. God, what did, we, what did we even say? In I'm that? gonna have to go back. Well, I think we're gonna have to do new intros and whatever because oh, it'll right. be confusing for people. <laughs> There'll never be a, a TV series, we'll say. Avatar, etc. Get oh, out yeah. of here. Uh, I was gonna say, looks uh, good. Looks good. Uh, well, uh, it does look good. 
Uh, a lot of people are like, hey, this looks quite similar to the M. Night Shyamalan movie. Like no, visually speaking. You, they, you, I don't know. I can't you need tell. to reass if you no. Well, I did watch this trailer on my I'm, phone. No, so. I'm not saying you. I'm saying people who are saying that need to see that movie again. Because oh, these yes. do not look similar. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's a mean thing to say, actually. Wow. In you and Indiana Jones game. Indiana <laughs> Jones in a big circle. Anyway, or that was so hot. Yeah, hot sauce. Looks good. This is machine games, right? Yeah, so, so did they did Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. It's the only coming to yeah. Xbox at the moment and oh. PCs. Okay. Um, it's first person, which mm-hmm. people some people are iffy on, but that's what machine games make. And yeah. if that's what they make, then wouldn't you rather than make the thing they yeah. can do? So yeah, so I mean, a lot of people like, well, we want a third person, like a like a. There two, are third person rated. elements to it, but yeah, it's not, right, because um, it, it sometimes will cut to a third yeah. person bit. But I think people wanted a third. I mean, that's the that's the the game Quantum of Solace was like that. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, but also you know, I'm. This is what they do well. Yeah, I've played a couple of the Wolfenstein newish games. And they, they're good. It's a great universe. Yep. Uh, they the the the. The first person stuff feels like visceral and yes. like solid, and I want to. I would love to see that in live action. What they should do is they in should live have, action. <laughs> this guy oh, doesn't know on, what a video game. I don't. Is. That's true. I don't. Thinks know. video games are real. Is this a video game? I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I also don't know. Well, I'm doing a big combo. I know. With, with on the, the dance dance revolution machine. Exactly that we all have, we have installed. <laughs> Um, what they should do is if you, if you really want an iconic Indiana Jones look, you should do it Wolfenstein style where there's a little picture of his face. In oh the bottom. yeah. And as, as he gets beaten up, yeah, you see, you see Harrison Ford's face being brutalized. <laughs> being beaten up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think the, the shots we get of this version of Indiana Seems Jones good. look really good. Yeah. Uh, Troy Baker's doing the voice. Um, yeah, sure. Um, I mean, he, he does all the voices, doesn't he, Mason? Yes, yeah, so it's him and David Hayter, right? Who do all who do, who do all the voices? It was him and Nolan North. Nolan North, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm thinking of. And yeah. not that they're not talented, because they obviously are. Yeah. Um, I should think you should get Tara Strong for the voice of Harrison. I Ford. agree. I agree. Mm. Um, so I've I, there's someone I would love to do it, but I, you know, I'm not, I don't want to. I don't want to be like. Eh, Is it you? Yes, yeah, me. It's I'd fine. love to do it. Yeah. G'day, boys. I'm Indiana Jones. Right. Get on your back. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> G'day, boys. <laughs> That's good. I love that. Uh, we're we're going to look. We, we, there's no time because it's hot, quick news, but I think we're definitely going to return to Indiana Jones, but he just has that voice for some reason. Is he Australian? No. It's just the voice that he has. He's from where he's from. Yeah, he's from where he's from. <laughs> Wherever that is. Um, people ask you, what do we think of what? G'day, boys. I'll be taking that idle. Thanks, boys. <laughs> All right. See you later, boys. Get on, get on your back. <laughs> you bloody stay there. <laughs> this is the perfect piece of news for Hot Quick I News. Because of my dual whip wielding. <laughs> anyway, for people who say that first person action in this style doesn't wouldn't work. Chronicles of Riddick did it. Chronicles of Riddick, uh, Mirror's, the Mirror's Edge. Edge games. I know they're obviously different, but yeah, yeah. it can be done. I'm like I, I bet when you do the first whip across a gorge and you do a big swing, I bet you're like, whoa, this is I cool. bet you'll poo your pants. But you'll poo your pants. <laughs> yeah. G'day, boys, you got any spare <laughs> pants around here? <laughs> Not not important why, boys. <laughs> I hate this character. <laughs> it's quick. quick news. Uh, people ask you about what if season two, what do we think? I liked it. People ask about Monarch. I liked it. Uh-huh. Echo, I uh, haven't seen it. I watched Echo. And? It's good, I think. Yeah. It's... Good. Wow. <laughs> Is it? Okay, here's the thing about Echo. Does it feel like it was nine episodes? And yes, it does. Yeah, okay. it, it's a little bit unfocused. Uh, look, I like. How's the Daredevil stuff? Spoilers? Who cares? Uh, he's in one episode. He's in the Whoa. first episode. There is one action sequence with him, and I don't think there's an action sequence that's better than that one. F- sit after that. Okay, yeah, oh, that's, uh, great. that's really but it's good. but it is very good. And her name is is it Alakwa Cox? Hang on, let me just check. Uh, I think she's very good in the role. Yeah, she is good. Alakwa Cox. There we go. Mm. I think she's very good in the role. What's interesting is the first episode is a combination of flashbacks to her appearances in Hawkeye. Okay, flashbacks to her childhood. Right. Some new stuff, but as presented in flashbacks as if we'd already seen it, and then some new stuff. And then she – so it's a little bit you're like, oh, this is a this is, this is is a lot to take in and it's yeah. happening over a series of different time periods. And then she's – then it's one of – then it becomes a sort of show where she has to go back to her hometown to like reassess and reevaluate. And they're like, what are you doing here? Exactly, but then there's some kingpin – Stuff happening in her home, and he's like, "What am I doing here?" Exactly, and then there's some. Then there's how's a, his eye? It's fine. He 
He's got a chip in it or whatever. Oh my god, he's got a chip in he's it. Got a chip like in a potato it. chip. Yeah, right. like a potato chip. Oh he's put a lace in there. Oh great. Which the Elestra helps with the healing. Very good. And it gives him diarrhea. Does, so with the with the <laughs> they did do that, didn't they? Yeah. With the chip. Yes. He, so he's got like a fake bionic eye. What are we talking about? He's got some scarring and there's like there appears to be like a little he's got a little circuit on there, which okay. I don't know. But also there's a there's a scene there's a sequence in it where in order to more easily communicate with her she gets a contact lens in and then he's got like AR sign language. Right. So he speaks and you see these phantom arms move oh, in front okay. of him. And oh, sort he never of, bothered to. Because he never bothered to learn sign yeah, language. That's yeah. rude. It is rude, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, uh, there's a fight on a roller I mean, range. I always thought he was rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, but, yeah, it does definitely feel like it is, uh, it's been cut down from nine. Okay. Uh, also, she has uh, powers derived from her like Native American roots. Okay. And it's just a bit vague. Right. It's sort of but I and I, I love the mysticism of it. Yeah, and it's and, and I think the idea because in the comic book she has similar powers to Taskmaster. She can see an action and she can yeah. copy it. But obviously there's already a Taskmaster in this universe and it's a woman in this universe. So I think they were like, well, we've got to give her a new thing. Yeah. And it's like, well what if she had vague strength? Oh, what if she did? Right? And a glowing Could thing. Could she kick a car and an airbag would go off? Maybe. All right. Didn't see it happen, though. All right. There's a supporting character who's a real doofus called Biscuits. Okay. I like Shut up, quick news. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna whip you off there, Mason. Anyway, I was, I, it, was, it was pretty fun. All right, I okay, it was I'll check fun. it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Foggy Nelson and Karen Page are going to return to Daredevil, which is resuming filming. It's going to be 18 episodes, but now it's going to be less episodes or more episodes. And I don't also, know. it's going to have Bullseye. The Bullseye, Bullseye is going to go. Well, I should yeah. finish Daredevil season three. I never did. And also, yeah, so basically they, they apparently spent months filming this and none of it worked, and they're like, hey, maybe we should just continue the thing that everyone liked. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it's canon again. Yeah. All the Netflix stuff is brought again, back. Yeah. Yeah. Woo, who cares? Woo. Doesn't matter. Anything's I canon. I care and I love it. You're right. Uh, tr- Tren is started Cannon's filming. Karen's Karen. Tron 3. Karen's canon? Karen's Karen's canon. Uh, Tron 3 or Tre- Threen is... is um, I think we've got to settle on Tren. I like Tren. Okay, I like Tren too. I like everything about this except for Jared Leto. Yeah. Cameron Monaghan's in it, who's great. Uh-huh. Uh, I like the director. I love the universe. Um, uh, but fuck this. But is it also, <laughs> is it... Because of it, Jared Leto specifically. Well, yeah, but is it a continuation of... Sort of. I like... Oh, do the Killian Murphy thing that we're doing. Yeah, so for people who don't know, the, the, the second one was directed by... Joseph Kaczynski. Who Joseph did. Kaczynski of Top Gun Maverick. And it has an uncredited cameo from Killian Murphy, who plays the son of the human villain from the original movie. Yep. And people were like, oh, this, is good. This, is, this is a real tease for the next one. But I mean, I also understand that they've both done big hit movies and they're probably chocolate. Yeah, but they could have got him before fucking um, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer came out. Yeah, Let's I guess. Be real. Yeah, that's probably. Ch- well, yeah, they did have. When did Tron 2 come out? 2009? Yes. Something like that. Actually, the director of this, he did, uh, look, Maleficent 2, mm-hmm. uh, The Last Price going to be it. Look, not movies that I love. Sure, absolutely, yeah. Um, but here's the thing, James, at least they will not lavish the care and attention on the special effects that they did in the last one. Oh, thank God. And also there won't be a Daft Punk soundtrack. Oh, yeah. So it'll be worse in every conceivable way. Okay, well, that's good, I guess. That's good, right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Anything can be good. And also uh, Jeff Bridges won't be in it. No. Or but- the other guy, his son. Jeff Bridges' the son. Yeah. Whatever his name is. Yeah. Garrett Hedlund? It might have been. We don't know. Yeah. Someone call him. Give him a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, Oscar snubs. Uh, it happens every year. This year oh, yeah. was Barbie. Uh, for... Except not because it got eight Oscar nominations. Yeah, but I didn't get like best director of Margot Robbie um, and all of that. And then mm. Hillary Clinton sent out a very inspiring message to. Way to kill the chances the of Barbie, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Kiss of death. Good <laughs> Lord. What are you doing? What, are you th- what were you thinking? Also. <laughs> That movie got – well, first of all – I don't like her for different reasons that people don't like her. Basically. Wow, all right, secret reasons, interesting. <laughs> Not secret, they're known. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Okay. I mean, the, the, I mean the, the obvious reason I think is that Best Film now has 10 nominations, yeah. whereas all the other categories only have five. So by its very nature, yeah. sometimes it might get – Best something might get nominated for best picture, but not the the other category. It happens all the time. But yeah. also, and it, and it, you know the, the also uh, Margot Robbie didn't get nominated for best actor, but she got a nomination producer for, for a producer because yeah. Lucky Chap produces produced yes. that movie. And Greta Gerwig got uh, a nomination not for director, but for best adapted screenplay. Yeah, which you know makes and I can I can see the logic of that 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 got nominated for best adapted screenplay, but. Kills of the Flower Moon didn't. Yeah. Like, I don't agree with it necessarily, but... You can see the... Well, with Killers of the Flower Moon, you have 
the book, which is apparently you know very well researched and very well written, mm. and it, 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 it you know it could it's a it's maybe a lesser matter to just take some of the well drawn out characters and put them in the movie, but to take a nothing thing like Barbie, which yeah. is just a toy, and then make anything out of it. Anything good. Anything good. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. Anyway, it's not going to win Best Picture anyway. No, it's absolutely It'll probably not. go to Oppenheimer or something weird that I don't know about. Some weird, yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, snubs and. Always snubs. They never get it right. They never will. Well, I mean, they never get it right and they never will and, uh, you know. Who's hosting this year? Probably a nothing. Probably an AI guy. <laughs> They don't put any effort in anymore. You know what it was like, you know, when like yeah, Steve Fantastic. Martin would be like, hello. Yeah, or like, you know, a year where like Fantastic Mr. Fox gets nominated and Fantastic Mr. Fox is there. You yeah, know what I mean? Absolutely. Or Shrek is there. Shrek is there and he's like, oh, Jimmy Kimmel. Godzilla should be there. They should yeah. get a guy in a Godzilla suit and put it's him in there. It's Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, yeah. All right. Now he's going to be like, oh, movies suck and they're long. I didn't watch Oppenheimer. It's too long and it mm. sucked. Uh, did anyone else hear about this Barbenheimer thing? Yes. <laughs> We all heard about it for the the whole year. We're never not going to hear about it. <laughs> you should fight that guy you had that beef with who said on the, the podcast that you're a pedophile or whatever. You should oh, fight yeah, that you guy. Oh, yeah, fight him, yeah. <laughs> Do you, that. You should fight Adam Carolla for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Fight that'd him. Be, that'd be great. You should fight a series of guys. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'd pay to see. Absolutely. Pay-per-view the Oscars. Please. Uh, but And also, again, it's it's always that thing of, like, somebody's going to win for a movie that they – somebody's going to win for a role they did last year that they didn't win for, yeah, exactly. you know. Yeah. So and, – and somebody's going to win a, a, for a movie that wasn't particularly good but it's a Lifetime Achievement Award yeah. and, you know, there's yeah. going to be a movie that's obviously fake that no one saw that's in the Best Picture nominees yep. or whatever. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called this year. Nyad, is that what it's called? That's not real. I don't know. I, I genuinely know. don't know what you're saying. There you go. Uh, what didn't get nominated? I know this side quick. <laughs> what didn't get nominated? Uh, a bunch of uh, Andrew Scott probably should have got nominated. What? Which for All which of us strangers. I haven't seen that, but apparently and, I really want to see it, yeah. Uh, Greta Lee didn't get nominated for anything. She was in Past Lives, you know, that movie about. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Past anyway, Lives. Past yeah, Lives, yeah. yeah sorry. Get out of here. Get out of here, Oscars. Get out of here, Oscars. All right, we're going to talk about big stuff. Okay. Movies are back, Mason. They are, it's true. There's less movies out this year, though, because of, there was a big strike. I don't know if you remember. We talked about it all of last year. And a bunch of movies have probably been written off for tax purposes. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's also happening. Halle Berry recently got one of her Netflix properties completely cancelled. Is that a is that a first for Netflix to, ki- to cancel something for something a tax Something of that high profile. Apparently the kids that are in are now kind of aged out of it, so they can't do reshoots, so they're just binning it. Oh, okay, well. Let's be real. It wasn't going to be good anyway. It's a Netflix movie. <laughs> Four Netflix movies are good. Extraction. Extraction 2. I like the old guard and I'm counting it even though nobody else counts it. Okay, okay. A fourth movie they'll add later. The Michael Bay one. one oh, Ambulance. Those. Yeah, or the other one. Sure, okay. Big yeah. big, big heist, whatever it's called. Sure, big heist in a big green car. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> Four good movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I guess it's five if you count Ambulance and the other big green heist car yeah. mm-hmm. movie. Um, but anyway, we're going to go through the biggest movies, the most anticipated movies of the year. Some of these won't come out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, already Mickey 17 has had its date. Oh, that's Bong Joon-ho and yeah. it's got Robert, Robert Pattinson, Pattinson in it. Yeah. And they just removed it. Huh. It doesn't have a date at the moment. I I read that book. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh-huh. I mean, what an incredible director and actor. And Mark Ruffalo's in it as well. Mm. But we just don't know what's happening with it. Oh, speaking of Mickey's, yeah. uh, Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie, no longer in copyright. But just that version? Just that version. Yeah. Uh, there's some specifics. You can still you, you can use anything that is in that short. So he... The boat. Uh, the boat, Steamboat Willie, yep. yeah, yeah, you, any of that. So we're going to introduce, we're going to develop a new character over the course of 2024. Yeah. G'day, called- boys. <laughs> oh, g'day, boys. It's me, Steamboat Willie. What's going on, boys? <laughs> yeah, I'll do a bloody whistle. I don't mind. <laughs> but yeah. the whistle's out of my bum. <laughs> I'm different and not the way you're going to like. <laughs> I'm liking this guy already, though. That's the Are thing. You? Yep, yep, I am. <laughs> Great. <laughs> So let's start with February, mm-hmm. which okay. is in the month that's this week. Yeah, sure. Um, what happened get, in January? Nothing, basically. Yeah, some stuff came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know, some things. Anyone Who's, but you is a big, it's big box it's office big, It's been the It's the biggest rom-com since last Bridget Jones movie in 2016. Well, About you. like 100 million. Yeah. So that could indicate that, well, look, if you've got two of the hottest actors in the world, uh-huh. literally, Mason. Mm. I mean, I don't mean temperature-wise because that doesn't make sense. No, but they're in Australia. That's hot. That's hottest actors in the world, Mason. Mm-hmm. 
and you do this huge marketing campaign and whatever, and then you could make $100 million. And it's confusing. And it's confusing. People like that. And the movie has to be made on $20 million or whatever. Oh, that's true also, so, yes. So, yeah. Maybe, that's, maybe it's the start of a new rom-com renaissance. Rom-coms, renaissance. rom-coms plus creature feature. Oh, very good. Mm-hmm. Mason. Uh, Argyle, that's coming up. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Isn't that out this week? It might be. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's... Who do you think the real agent Argyle is? Who cares? I think it's I Daniel Craig. That, but I do care, actually. I think it might be Daniel Craig. Oh, my God. I guess that would make sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's when it, what's the date on this one? Yeah. Feb 1st. So yeah, that is out this week. So we'll probably talk about that next week. Okay. So not too much to say about that. Cause I just want to talk about Madam Webb. Okay. Which is, I don't know if you heard the news about Madam Webb over the break, Mason, but there were some stories and rumors and cause we, when we saw the trailer, we were like, is this set in the nineties? What's sure, happening right. here? Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they apparently had to do a bunch of reshoots cause originally this was going to be in the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man universe and make it his problem. That's right. That poor man has <laughs> been through problem. enough. Leave him alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Mm. He's just, he's trying so hard. Yeah. He's a good Spider-Man despite everything that has happened to I him. Just, I just wanted to, just before we go on to that, I just wanted to talk about Argyle briefly. Sure. There, there's, a, there's a shot in the trailer where we see John Cena. He's wearing a colourful shirt. Wow. That's not, that's not all. Oh. I mean, that's wonderful, obviously. <laughs> but there's also, quick. there's also a movie from 2015 called Mr. Right. It's got Sam Rockwell in it. Oh, that one. With, uh, They're Anna wearing Kendrick. the same shirt. <gasps> Anna Kendrick one? The Anna Kendrick But one? Sam Rockwell's also in Argyle. Is oh. that a clue? Is it? Maybe. You think they're in the same? Is that the Anna Kendrick movie? I keep seeing Anna Kendrick. It is Anna Kendrick in it. It's yeah. about. It's about. He's a, a hitman. Something. He's a. He's a somewhat reformed hitman, and they have a. They get it. They get into a. a they liaise. They have a liaise. They somewhat liaise. I'll show you the shirt, James. I don't want to say it. Okay. Well, there's no time anyway. Okay. Good. Um, I don't have it here. It's not important. So yeah. No, anyway, I do have it. There we go. It's this shirt. It's this exact shirt. It's a good shirt. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's good. And I'm just saying, where, where, how did that? Why? Why? Do you think why? it's the same size shirt? Absolutely not. There's you don't no think way. So? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, if that's what you think. I'm just saying all the clues point to Daniel Craig. Oh, my God, okay. Right. We'll find out. Or just, or just Henry Cavill with a different haircut. Yeah. Or the cat's a spy. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, there's Madam Webb. Mm-hmm. There were reshoots because they were going to put it in the and then in the Andrew Garfield But universe. then the timeline wouldn't have Timeline worked doesn't out. work because he's father's his uncle's in it all. Oh, is it his father or his uncle in it? It's, it's, it's uh, is it Adam ben Scott Parker? is definitely Uncle Ben. Okay, that's not Ben Parker. That is Ben Parker. I mean, sorry, Peter Parker's father, whose name is a different name. Yes, it's not him. No, it's not it's, him. it's it's Ben. It's yeah. definitely Ben. And I think the and there's a there's a still that's been going around on Twitter where he's holding a fortune cookie. Okay. And people are like, well, the fortune cookie's going to say, with great power comes great responsibility. Oh my or, god! Or something akin to that. You're going to die. You're gonna you're <laughs> gonna get shot by a burglar. <laughs> well, I won't be needing this. Gonna be, it's gonna be. It's either gonna be with great power comes great responsibility, and everybody in the theater is gonna go, Ugh, yeah. or it's gonna say with great power comes great fortune cookies or something. That's fun too. Yeah, that fun and everyone twist. will cheer. Everyone will cheer. That's right. That's and fortune cookies will rain down in the cinema. Oh my right god! Fortune cookies. So yeah. you're going all out on this, and you'll one. crack one open and be like, "You'll be shot by a burglar." <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> So then they changed it to they were going to make it the Tom Holland universe and then they realized they can't do that either because that also doesn't make sense. Makes even less sense. So yeah. now they've gone back and done reshoots where they've wiped out any like idea of when it was when it is set so okay, it's in sure. a vague universe of its own now mm. which I love. That's great, yeah. Yeah, so there we go. There's and, just scenes where somebody's like, "Boy, what time is it?" We don't know. <laughs> where am I? No one in this universe has a watch. Yeah. What even is a watch? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Don't you love this city we live in? New York? Oh, I couldn't possibly oh, I say. Yeah. <laughs> I love living in Yorkville. Yeah, where's where's Venom said? Are we said are we there? Are we in that one? Shh. <laughs> Shh. Just dump all this shit in the same Morbius Venom universe. It's fine. Wall it off. It's in the same thing, right? Okay, literally wall it off? Yeah, wall it off. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Uh let's talk March now. Oh, that, that was it? Yeah. But it's not quick. That's okay. not. But we're still going to move. There was also a weird piece of viral marketing where we had Dakota Johnson being like, you should go and buy tickets to Madam Web. Oh. She's just looking at the camera. She's like, you better buy But she doesn't have those powers, does she? No, but it was just a weird, just felt odd. Yeah. <laughs> buy some tickets. Buy some tickets. I mean, I will. But yes, be- only, but yeah, only yeah. because of the show. There was no way I would see this or any of these spam movies. <laughs> Absolutely if not. If I didn't have to. Yeah. Yeah. Fun- but see, that's how they're getting us because everybody has a podcast now. Oh, so everybody has to watch it to review it. <laughs> uh, March, we've got Dune Part 2. Dune Part 2, I love Looks it. Looks good. Mm-hmm, that will act a delay, maybe. 
No, it's already been delayed. Oh, okay, right. Uh, so they pushed it because of the writer's strike. You get one delay as a treat. Strike. Yeah. And then you have to put it out. Because now they can promo it properly and whatever. Mm. And they can just stomp all over Madden Web by the time it comes out. That's true, yeah. Well, Madden Web will, I don't know, maybe it's just going to be the wave that will ride into summer. Maybe it's the, it's the Sydney, Sydney Sweeney sweep. Exactly. You know? Uh, so yeah, Dune looks good. There's that big, oh, what's his name? Elvis is Sydney playing Sweeney a big is a hot ones this week, and I'm like, what is she going to be plugging? Is she pl- is she still going to be the no, wise? She's got a horror movie out as oh, well. Okay, or something. I was going to say the wise choice would be to keep plugging she... anyone but you. But I mean, why would you be on hot ones to plug Madam Web? Because someone has to. Yeah, and we're not going to do it. <laughs> It'd be a few things, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Hey, hey all the stuff I'm doing. Yeah, hey, all the stuff. You look it up. Yeah. Um, Spaceman. This is the uh, the Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, and Adam Sandler and Paul Dano is a – so it's – it's Adam Sandler is a is a is an astronaut. He's on a deep space mission and he's lonely. Yeah. But then also there's a big spider on the, on the ship. He's an alien spider from the beginning of time and he's voiced by Paul Dano. There's also another book which I read. Recently, uh-huh. uh, what's it called? I can't remember. I talk about it all the time on Suggestible, and Claire was going to read it, but it's also got a space spider in it, huh. and that's also going to be a movie. Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, that's they've the one. done that already. Yeah, yeah, they did it already, but I want to see it twice. <laughs> um, so there you go. G'day, boys. It's me, Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> First name Pride and second name Prejudice. Middle I'm a space man? spider. Oh, a space all right. Spider. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm here to teach you how to be a lady. <laughs> Is that what this movie's about? A lady spider or a regular? No. <laughs> and a Victorian era lady. I'm very skilled in the art of teaching ladies how to be uh, polite, uh, exist in polite society. Well, you are. Because I'm sp- from the beginning of time. Oh, because, yeah. And you're a spider. And it was spider. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's interesting. You've got to learn how to do a fancy walk if you're a spider. Can I walk regular in my own personal life? I suppose. <laughs> Don't let anybody see you. Okay. Put a book on your head. Put a book on my head? That's right. What kind of book? Fancy book. A fancy book? Right. Like a doily? Like a book about doilies? Get out. <laughs> oh, was this this is part of it, was it? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is the test. <laughs> You're fired from deportment school. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kung Fu Panda 4. What do you think? I don't care. They're good. I guess. They're sure. good and people like it. Okay. So people are saying not enough of the famous five who's in it or whatever. The sinister... All the all these mates. Oh, there's right. like Jackie Chan, Grasshopper, okay, Angelina sure, sure. Jolie, Snake, or whatever. Right, because know. they're all too expensive now. Yeah, and they're doing I guess. these on the cheap. Yeah, sure. but I mean, they make they've made a TV series. And they Who's do... the main guy? Who's the main voice of the Kung Fu Panda? Is it Jack it's Black? Jack Black. Yeah. Okay, right. He's a good. He's a, he's a good. He's, he's a, a good, good one. And I like yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, after that, we got Roadhouse. Yep. Well, uh, we're boycotting that, aren't we? No, I'm going to watch it. Yeah, I'll also watch it. Yeah, I mean, it'll be on Amazon, won't it? Exactly. I'll watch Reacher and then Roadhouse. Reacher, Roadhouse. Damn. Uh, and then Two big boys. And then we've got... <laughs> that work great together. They're so big. Ghost- oh, what if Reacher tried to get into Roadhouse's Roadhouse? Oh, my God. Right? What would happen? The earth would split in two. I think it might split in two. And, and they'd, they'd go they'd, into They'd each ways. take half of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right. Reacher, I can't let you in. Well, I'm, I'm afraid, Roadhouse, you're going to have to let me in. <laughs> because I've done some deductions on you. Oh, my God. Ver- various Sherlock Holmes-style deductions. He does do that. I know, he? you're going to let me in. Mm. But he won't? He won't. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, this is exciting for you, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. It is exciting for me. Because it's apparently a throwback to the real Ghostbusters animated series. Mm-hmm. It's not just like his Zool again and his everything you've seen. Yeah. They're going to try a new thing. With, of everything you've seen, but in a different medium. Yes, but with um, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but it's too it's sincere now. Yeah, it's sincere, and it's got the re- the characters who are alive in real life. That's who great. That's so great. That's, yeah, that's great. I, so they're not doing only the actors who've died are returning. No, they already did that. Okay. Um, so I'm excited. No, only the actors who. Oh, died. only. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Also, apparently Walter Peck is back. The uh, that's cool. The uh, the the Do environmental the protection now? agency guy. Oh, he might be the mayor. Might be the mayor. He's either the mayor or the, the, he's been put in a basement somewhere. People and he's have all talked sad. about how he's right, right? Like yeah. he was right. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, not a fan. We don't have to talk about it. You're just happy that somebody's talked about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Not a fan, obviously, of this franchise. But um, it, I isn't Patton Oswalt in it? Something? Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. Uh, Kamal Nanjiani's in it. Paul Rudd is back. The kids from the first one. Yep. Um, original cast members of yep. Ghostbusters. Do you think podcast is back? The character of podcast. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, how could you not? Mm-hmm. How could there be a How could there be a Ghostbusters movie without the character of podcast? <laughs> They're going to retroactively insert him into the first movie, I think. God, I hope so. Um, there will be a Ghostbusters time travel movie at some point, right? If they keep making these, it's the eighties. 
What do oh, we do? Yes, we got to make sure original Ghostbusters yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost has gone back in time and he moved a thing and it made the Ghostbusters not happen. Yeah. It's a, a, They're a, all woke. A ghost, ba- <laughs> a ghost went back in time and, and it stopped the, li- the the library ghost from spooking them so they didn't become the Ghostbusters. So we've got to go back and we've got to get the lady Ghostbuster to spook the Ghostbusters again. Damn. And we're woke. And we're woke? <laughs> That's right. They're getting away with too yeah, much, Mason, yeah, yeah. over there. Yeah, I know, right? This studio, whoever yeah, makes these. That's right. Paramount or whatever. I can't remember. <laughs> God damn. Uh, then we've got Godzilla X Kong. The I'm new... actually, look, honestly, I'm really excited. I know you are. Just... No, not that. Not even this movie. I don't care about this movie <laughs> oh. anymore. I'm now excited about the movie where they have to go back in time to the 80s. And they just go, it's, this is our end game and we have to go through the scenes in the original Ghostbusters. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, incredible. With such reverence. Oh, there's going to be so much reverence because we're going to see we're going to see Ray and we're going to see Pete and Pete, and then there's going to be stirring music and we're going to see Egon. It's like, oh, it's Egon. Is there going to be stirring music when they hide in the cupboard and watch a ghost suck the dick of Dan Aykroyd? Yes, <laughs> a thing that happened in that movie. Yes. Oh, that's what they've got to make sure happens. You got to do it. I don't really do that. I'm a ghost. Listen. <laughs> it's no, already they make, happened. No, they put an amulet on Ray and he turns invisible, and that's. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Ray? Yeah. But isn't he already? No, oh, my present day. Okay. Ray. Yeah. I hate that. Well, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> He's going to have to do it because otherwise the Ghostbusters won't get formed and they won't save the city. The city will be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, you know? Marshmallow Man, et cetera. Yeah, that's I right. Know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, Ray, the Marshmallow Man will destroy the city unless you do this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dad Aykroyd might. I'm saying he will. <laughs> He will. As a cool ghost goof. Yeah. Just explain to him the amulet and the dimensions or yeah, whatever. Yeah, he yeah. loves that sort of stuff. Do you want Egon to live or whatever? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. He <laughs> yes. can't. He can't really. No. Uh, Godzilla X Kong, uh, Kong, the new empire. I'm excited for Let's that. Let's go. Yep. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big gorillas. Big gorillas. Godzilla's new. Get a big glow up, literally. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's yep. fun. That's cool. Do you think he's going to revert back to regular Godzilla at the end of this? Do you think he's going to expend all his pink energy? Oh. I think mm. he will. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I hope he doesn't. I hope he keeps evolving. Do you think he'll go to a different color? I think pink is a really good look for I us. think he yeah. looks great. Mm. Yeah. And he's done it before for yeah. people like, this is unheard of. He has yeah. done it. He's done a bunch of And also shit. I think it, it looks great because it's a good contrast because he's always in water and I think when when, the, when he's oh, blue, yeah. they have to – they have to. It's, yeah. it's a thing where they, it works best at night when the sea is black and et cetera. Like yeah. that's – but now you can do daytime looks because he's – you know, Give him a it's a good daytime look. look exactly. That's all I'm saying. Uh, April, we've got the first Omen, which is an Omen prequel. Okay, sure. Because uh, it's the first one. Sure. Yeah. Which one is the Omen franchise? The one where a kid is the devil or something. Oh, yeah, right, right. Or He's Dam- Damien Devil. Or something. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Then we've got Civil War. But what is it now? Because it has to be woke. It's got to be. Mm. Probably a girl Omen. <laughs> if you can imagine. A Gomen. A Gomen, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Civil War. Oh, sure. This is the new Alex Garland movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. where it's about the but the American Civil War, but a new one. Uh-oh. And what's had that happen or whatever, you know? Probably division. Probably society. Division, yeah. So I'm looking forward to that because I always enjoy the movies he writes and or directs for the most part. Mm. Then we've got the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Okay, this is a historical drama of some uh, sort? It's, I think it's another Guy Ritchie movie. Okay. Because, you know, he does four movies a year. He does four movies a year. No one can stop him. Yeah, directed by Guy Ritchie. So it's based on the book Churchill's, uh, Churchill's Secret Warriors, the explosive true story about the special forces desperados of World War II okay. by Damien Lewis. So it's built as a true story of blah, blah, blah. It's Basically, it's when the special forces were founded. Didn't they just do a TV series about this? Yeah, I feel like maybe. They did, yeah. And maybe Dominic it was about Monaghan the SAS was in it or, something. or something. Yeah, or one maybe. One of those guys. Yeah. The guy who played Stark's father, but the younger version, him. Whatever his name is. Dominic Cooper. Oh, yeah. Might have been in it. All right, okay, yeah. Or something. I might be thinking of a yeah, different yeah. thing. Then we've got Abigail. Did you see the trailer for this? It's got like Dan Stevens. She's the girl from Matilda, the musical. Uh, it's, Dr- it's Dracula Ballerina Girl. Oh, I haven't seen this. It no. looks good. Okay, it's fun. Abigail. They go this to- is a new property. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it's a fucking Dracula, but yeah. So they go <laughs> to a house. The trailer gives it away. They go to a house mm-hmm. and they're like, you have to kidnap this girl or whatever. And it turns out the girl is a Dracula and the oh, kidnappers yeah. are there to actually like, be like free. And this is a present day, yeah. present day thing. Okay, it right. feels like what they did for that Wolfman thing recently. Or uh, ladies on a plane, hel- uh, Die Hard on a plane, but she's a vampire. Oh, yeah, I liked Die Hard mm-hmm. on a plane and the vampire lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was, that's the fourth Netflix thing. Die Hard on a plane, but it's Dracula. That was Netflix, right? Was that in English? Yes. Was it? Yes. Don't remember. Okay. Cool. Good. 
Oh, speaking of Netflix, yes. there's actually more movies on Netflix that are good than you can even think of. Disagree. Uh, Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver. Okay, That's sure. coming out in April. Okay. And by Scar, S-K-A? No. Was that technically Scar? It's a Scar version of that Free song. Precursor yes. to Scar. Well, no, because the, the original. Oh, yeah, because the original one isn't a. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Mason. Yes. I just was doing a Trump. Well, we're Trump talking over. about the real big fish cover yes, of yes, Take yes, On yes. Me. Yes. I know, I got confused. Um, I should have done anything. I should have done a generic Scar, like a. Yeah. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. So that's fun. But all roads lead to Take On Me. All of them. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, it's going to be yeah, bad. Yeah. It's going to be, be bad. Is this coming out before or after the super think, R-rated sexy version? I think version? the director's cut of the first one was coming out before because okay, I guess right. that would be like promo for That'd this. Be the I oh shoot. my god! I don't know. I don't care. I don't. I hate. No, it. I don't we'll care. Watch it. We will watch it. We, we have, to, have watch to watch it. it. We have to watch it. Well, so, will this be the one that finally? It's the Madam Web of this month. Oh, by the way, are we in Madam Webuary? Is that the month that we're in? Yeah. Or Can we, we be in Madam Webuary? Because we love Madam Web so much. Yeah. Sure. I mean, we're not technically there. Time of recording, but, but we will uh, be. But okay, we will right. be this week. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Carrie and the Garbage is back this week. We're doing the Tom Holland Spider Man movie. Nice. Then we have got Challenges, which is the Zendaya tennis movie. Yeah, sexy tennis. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, sexy tennis. So that's coming up as well. Uh-huh. So uh, the trailer looks good. It does. Um, that has some relation to an Oscar nominated movie this week. I think. Okay, is it the director or? It might be. It is. It is the. I think the director. Luca Guadagnino, he is the husband of the woman who directed Anatomy of a Fall. Oh, like, apparently it's very good. Meh, I've heard. Have you seen it? I've heard. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Cool, man. That's great. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to move our way into May. may you May you Aren't may you Very, thank you. Because it's it's still going to be going. Matter Webb's still going to be going. We're never going to stop. And one of those characters is Aunt May, probably. Completely agree. Mm-hmm. Or do you reckon they're not going to reveal Aunt May until the sequel to Madame Webb? I think they're going to... She's going to be in silhouette in the post credits at, at a telephone or something. Hello. Yeah. Yes, this is Aunt May. <laughs> Technically, I'm an aunt, yes. yes. Uh, my son, nephew, Peter Parker, was just born. That's right. Oh, it's going to be a call from the hospital. Yeah. That's great news. What did you call him? Peter. Credits. Nice, yeah. Did yeah. you enjoy this movie? No. <laughs> How do you get that on the screen? Okay, because they're just streaming it from Amazon or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. You, yeah. Okay, great. This is good. This is all very good. Uh, May's got the Fall Guy. Okay, so Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Gosling yep. um, stuntman movie. He loves a stuntman movie. He's always doing one. That's true. This is his latest. Looks like there's a lot of real stuff in it, hopefully, because mm. otherwise what's the point? We talked about that. Yeah, that's right. Then we've got Kingdom of the Planet. Of the Apes. Oh, yeah. Big time creature feature. Love uh, that. Uh, yeah. So we did a commentary for the original Planet of the Apes, which is out, which we did over the break at mm-hmm. BigSandwich.co. There's a bunch of stuff that went out there. But thank you for people who signed up over the break. That's right. Way, and just have been signed thank up. Thank you for general. everyone who didn't abandon us. Yeah. Thank you so much. We love that. We love we it. We love it. <laughs> Next, we've got the movie If, which is a John Krasinski movie, The Monsters of. Imaginary Friend. Imaginary Real or whatever. And who's the imaginary friend? Is it Ryan Reynolds, Can't, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. He's going to be revealed to the imaginary, be, be the imaginary friend. Okay, let me help. I'm the imaginary friend of your granddad or something. He is in That's it. That's why I dress old timey. Vince Vaughn's in it. Okay, Emily I'm Blunt's also an imaginary friend. Oh my God. I was in True Detective, the worst season. That's a good season. I don't mind it either, Mason. Let's be <laughs> okay. real with each other. All right. It just apparently wasn't the first. Apparently they're, try- they're tying in the new season to they are. season one. I'm very much enjoying it so far. Oh, was it good? It's a real spooky time. Let me tell you that okay, much. Okay, all right. Then we've got Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Oh, yes. Excited for that? Yes. Potentially. I don't know. I shouldn't doubt George Miller because whenever I do, he makes Mad Max. But then we've got the tall poppy syndrome because he's Australian. Australian. So we, we've got to cut him we down. We hate that about Yuck. him. Yuck. But, yeah. No, I'm really yeah. – I would have loved You it. should be filming episodes of Neighbours. Exactly. Be directing those. Which is back, by the way. Right. I mean, I would have loved a Charlie's Theron Furiosa movie, mm-hmm. but I'll take this, whatever. And speaking of movies. She's busy doing Fast X2. Oh, yeah, 11. she's in that maybe. Yeah. Is she in the last one? Yeah, she's in it for a minute. She, um, she's in the submarine? Wait. Michelle Rodriguez? They had a fight in the they, facility? Okay, she's in it for quite a bit. Is she? Yeah. That facility fight she has with Michelle Rodriguez, is that in that movie, though, or a different movie? That's in 10, I'm pretty confident. God, who's, who's in movies? Because there's a, is it 9 where she shows up and she's in a DeLorean? Fuck, man. I don't know. Okay, she's in the new DeLorean, which is a, not a good look. New car. DeLorean. Somebody bought the IP of DeLorean and built a new DeLorean, but it looks hideous. So on, on brand. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Then we've got the Garfield movie. Did you know there was a gold DeLorean? Yes, I did. Okay. It's called Gold DeLorean. Um, <laughs> it was called Gold DeLorean. 
Uh, no, I did know that, uh-huh. and it was worth even more or less. Yeah, and you also had to you also had to have a gold American Express card to buy it or something. Ooh, must be nice. It would have be been an nice. absolute dumb fuck. <laughs> it would have been nice in uh, the eighties. Yeah. My God, it would have been the best time in the world to be that. <laughs> <laughs> to have a gold American Express card in the eighties and be full, full to the no, brim with cocaine. You, you could do anything. Oh my god! Just just driving recklessly on cocaine in your gold DeLorean. My good, it would have been incredible. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I wish I lived then. Well, you can't. I can't. It's true. Yeah. Should I? Should we crowdfund for a gold DeLorean, please, and a pile of cocaine? Let me just quickly Google that. What gold DeLorean? Okay, and sure. cocaine. DeLorean. There's no way they made like twenty of them. There's no way we can afford one. They were offered at 85000 each. Okay. I mean, I know with inflation, that doesn't seem like ridiculous. I mean, it is ridiculous because it's a stupid thing to buy. <laughs> See if there's one on carsales.com.au. No, nah, it doesn't look like there's much going on here. Mm. Anyway, if you have one, let us know. We'll take it. Yeah, if you're the we'll if you're listener with a gold DeLorean. Yeah. yeah, sure. Garfield movie? Not interested. Me neither. Chris Pratt's Garfield, though. June, ballerina. From the mind of John Wick, etc. Oh, et yeah. Is this still Anna de Armas? I believe so. They made this movie. There you they go. made it, didn't they? Yeah, okay. you, you finished that series? What do you mean? Winston's Hotel? Yeah, I did. I quite liked it. It was all right? Yeah. Is it as good as the John Wick movies? No. No? no. Interesting. Yeah. It wasn't? It had nobody in it? Nobody in the actors from the original John Wick franchise and yep. they didn't look as good and the action wasn't as good yep. and it was a prequel and it wasn't as good as the John Wick movies? All those things are correct, yes. Okay, interesting. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, Inside Out but 2. But what did you expect? <laughs> the thing you said. Okay. Uh, Inside Out 2. Um, what if your emotions had more emotions? Sure. More, more nuanced emotions. <gasps> you know? I don't have time for this nuance, Mason. These emotions include uh, sitting on your phone. Yep. Doom scrolling on yep. your phone. Yep. Uh, buying stuff on your phone. Having a tummy ache. Having a big tummy ache because you had too much dairy yeah, and yeah. you might be lactose intolerant, you didn't know. but you don't want to admit it. You don't you want to admit know. it because that'd be. But you don't want to go to a doctor and be like, "Hey, am I lactose intolerant?" Because maybe you'd have to take a tablet or something. Yeah. Oh, amazing. You know? Yeah. Anyway, exactly. those are the emo- those are the new emotions. Exactly. I'm excited for new emotions. Then we got Bad Boys Four. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. You don't think so? No, I don't Let think so. Let me check that's for real coming out. No, I don't believe you. Bad boys. A couple of bad boys. It's coming out, man. June 14th. Wow, this okay, year. sure. Great. Yeah. Great. Love that Martin Lawrence. Never done anything bad it's in his life. <laughs> it's got Vanessa Hutchins in it. Currently it's, and they can't call it bad boys, bad boys for life. Because they did that with the last one for some life. reason. Amazing. Man, yeah. Filming uh, began, principal photography began in April of last year. All right. Um, filming was suspended in July due to saga after it. They should call it Bad Boys 5 Life. Yeah, they exactly. Must do. Um, so I, at the moment it does appear to be coming out, but, yeah, it probably won't. It'll get pushed because it doesn't say anything about when they picked up the reshoots. Then we've got The Bike Riders, which is a movie that was going to come out. It's got Tom Hardy and Elvis. Mm-hmm. And then there was like, we're the, we're the founders of Harley Davidson bike boys. Mm, sure, um, sure, sure. And it's the, it's the 60s or 70s or whatever. It was going to get released through Disney and they're like, well, we'd no. rather not actually. And Tom then, Hardy, Austin Butler, don't think so. <laughs> no, we don't like that. Don't like that, that combination of A-list celebrity nope. power. So it went somewhere else. Yeah. Or to, through 20th Century Fox again. I can't remember, knows, but man. it is happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay, I'm looking forward to that one actually. Sure, why not? Mm-hmm. Then we've got A Quiet Place Day One. Oh. Quiet Place prequel sort of. Is that directed by... John Krasinski, no, yes. it's a it's a different director. Wow. His name I cannot remember. Is it? We're doing the joke where it's the guy, Randall Park. I would love it to be Randall Park. That's a good joke, Mason. That's a good joke, thank you. And then we're getting Horizon, colon, an American saga, dash, chapter one. And you what? might be like, what's that? Based on a video game? No, it's Kevin Costner's uh, two-part Western epic. You remember he loves a big sprawling western that he directs and he's in yeah of course well, he's, I do. he's back because he made a bunch of money from yellowstone and he can do this again yeah hell yeah finally it's been 30 years but he's good he's returned great. to his passion i love that yeah all I'll he had to do probably. all he had to do, do was endure five years of streaming television to, to make <laughs> enough money <laughs> why do you think he's self-funding this i think partially and that because he's kind of you know he's Big again, but he was like the biggest movie star in the world. I remember, remember? I remember. And then all he, all he did was one or two post apocalyptic movies where he's a fish man or a postman. <laughs> yep. And then the whole world turns on you. You know, that's what happened. Made two very bad movies. <laughs> it's not that bad either. You've never seen the postman. I have seen the postman. Huh? But I was watching and I was like, why did they do this? Mm. It's Waterworld, but he's a postman. Yeah. It's based on a book, you know. Is it? Yep. What's the book called? The Postman. Is it called Kevin Costner? Please adapt this book. No. You dumbass! If no. you if you're stupid enough, <laughs> I think it was bait. Yes. You think maybe a rival movie studio <laughs> put it out? They got somebody to write a fake book. Yeah, that's what I think wow. happened. 
It's uh, by a famous guy. Let me look it up. Continue with you. With yeah, your yeah, yeah. I mean, I can quickly do the it. Postman book. Postman. David Brin. He did Sundiver. Which was Sundiver. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was a. It was a. It was a book. And dive seri- into the sun. No, it was about a series, and there, and there, there's. It's called the Uplift series, and it's about. It's one of those ones where it's like there's aliens, and they when they see a, a culture with a with a certain level of technology, oh, they, show like, up, they show up, and they're like, "Hey, do you want warp drive and stuff? Yeah, you want that? You want a bit of warp drive? Yes, please. Ooh, have, have some warp. Leap up for the warp drive. Can Come I on, have it? One, no, you give gotta, it to me. You got to grab the warp drive. It's right here. Oop, I pull, pulled it out of your grasp. I'm not Oop. jumping. No, no. Come on, come All on. Right, warp drive. Get you any? Oop, no. I pulled it out of the way again. I don't even really want it. Well, you can go anywhere with it. You go anywhere. I do universe. want it, actually. Come on, grab it. You can just grab it. Just Come give on, it to me. I'll give it to you tomorrow. <laughs> what does that mean for you, though, tomorrow? What do your days look oh, like? Oh, I guess, uh, you know, we actually all perceive all time and space at the same time, so who knows? <laughs> who knows why? Who knows what it means? <laughs> anyway, we will, I've got to go. I'll see you over the other side of the universe? Yeah. Oh, you don't have a warp drive yet. You okay. can give it to me. I'm right mm, here. No, I'll do it later. <laughs> or earlier. Or before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Uh, July. Pretty sparse. Oh, I don't know why. Uh, Despicable Me 4 is coming out. Okay, sure. People like those. People love those minions. Twister. Twisters. Oh, wow. Didn't the first Twister have multiple Twisters? Yes. Did you see the cow? Yep. Uh, and then, which will probably one of the biggest movies, might be the biggest movie of the year even, Deadpool 3. Just Who's in Twister? Filming. Who's going to be in Twister? Uh, the dude from Top Gun, but not the main guy, Tom Cruise. Glenn Powell's in it. Is he? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I love that. It's not Bill Pullman or When's Paxton. Hitman coming out? Oh, I saw the trailer for that. Who's yeah. directing that again? Uh, it's a, a guy who's good. He's famous. Oh, Noah um, something? No. No, it's like the slacker guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know Richard the Linklater. There we go, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's gotten dumped on uh, Netflix, hasn't it? Yeah, June. June, okay. Yeah. Right. That Glenn Plough, how's he doing it? Charisma. And cool. a good agent. And a good agent, yeah. Deadpool 3. We haven't <laughs> really talked about it at all. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about all of it? You've seen all those. There's been some set leaks. And I have seen the we're, entire movie, yes. We're not going to get into. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of set leaks, but also we haven't really, like, I don't think we've anybody's been able to piece together the plot yet. Yeah. So that's good. You don't think it's just The Flash, what they did in The Flash? I think there'll be some fun digs at The Flash, perhaps. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Mm. Yeah. I think there'll be a Stan Lee cameo. Did you see Christopher Reeve's family was like, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't know it. this was going to happen. Yeah, but that that to me also, they didn't say we didn't approve it. They said we didn't know they were doing this version of it. So right, or maybe yeah. they said, "Do you want? We're going to put him in. Do you want some money and whatever?" It's still right. fucking awful. Yeah, whatever absolutely, way you yeah. look at it. And there was another clip released from it was a Nicholas Cage interview. It might be from some time ago, but it was it was that thing where he he, he went over again and explained how. He was told when he went in mm. that his his version of Superman was going to be what seeing the destruction of the universe, and you just see him react to that. Yeah. And then when he kept, went in to see the movie, there was no there was no react to that. Him it was fighting just, a spider. It was just a just a like he and, and you can tell that in based on that video that he you know he was putting a lot of it into his eyes and like a lot of you know and he's yeah. Cage is a good actor and like yeah. you know he was he was going to put the destruction of an entire reality into his face. For a, for a minute or whatever. Yeah. And then they just were like. I reckon they would have held on for a minute. <laughs> no. and But then they just gave him this glossy nothing face. And he's fighting a spider. He's fighting the, fighting the spider, yeah. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Deadpool 3, um, yep. it's, uh, it seems like it's going to be a trip through X-Men and Fantastic mm. Four memories and yeah, all those yeah, movies. Yeah. And, and, and for uh, our podcast, The Big Sandwich Classic Comic Book oh, Club, yeah. we read uh, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, which was a uh, – an unpleasant comic, I think. Did not like it. Yeah, but if you if you want to subscribe to that, uh, yeah. get into that. Which which I think the the movies may be very loosely based on, based on the number of cameos. Yeah. He's Deadpool is either going to kill a bunch of old Marvel properties, mm. like he's going to kill a bunch of old characters we see in older movies, or we're just going to encounter them. We're going to. Yeah. Oh, it's and then they're going to die. Whatever in the destruction of the. Universe oh, it's whatever. It's whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Do you reckon he'll name the movies that they're in? Yeah. That's whoever from X-Men 2. Yeah. That's, that's the guy from the Doctor Strange pilot from the 70s or whatever. Exactly. Right. August. We've got the movie Trap. Don't know what it is, but it's M. Night Shyamalan's next movie. Oh. So I'm always interested to know what that dude is up to. We're in a Shyamalan resurgence. I agree. Mm. I agree, I agree. He's been, he does interesting stuff. I agree, yeah. yeah. Uh, Borderlands. Borderlands the movie. With uh, Kate Blanchett is in it. For Disaster, some apparently. Okay, sure. Um, the guy who owns Borderlands or whatever, he's awful, and there's that weird behind the scenes thing. We haven't really seen anything from, and Jack Black's in it. Who's also going to be in the Minecraft movie or whatever. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, apparently it's just been an absolute train wreck. So 
this could become something salvageable. Kevin Kevin Hart's in it as well. Oh, then it's definitely salvageable. Yeah, it's definitely salvageable. So there you go. Oh, and then you're going to love this. Mm-hmm. Also in August, Horizon Colon, an American Saga Dash Chapter 2. Based on the video game? Yes. Great. Kevin Costner's sprawling. So the first one's a sprawling epic and the second one's just based on the video it's game. It's like Westworld and Future World. You get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Uh, then, oh, I'm very looking much forward to this, Mason. Alien Romulus. Oh, which right, is the next sure. Alien movie, mm-hmm. which might... it's. Because there's also a, Noah Hawley is also doing a TV series, and one of them set like before. Yeah, no, this is the one that's set between Alien and Aliens. Okay, sure. Yeah, and that's all we know about it. And it's Fede Alvarez who did the Evil Dead 2013 reboot. Okay, so is this like. is this based on is is this what happens in between? I mean, no idea. Okay, right. No idea. Wow. Well. But I also know that Noah Hawley is abandoning all the, the Prometheus, Prometheus shit. Uh, covenant stuff. Yeah, right. because he's like, it's more interesting if it's like an evolution of a species as opposed to a guy that made it. Okay. You know? I think that stuff is interesting, but. I don't mind. Hey, it. man, parallel universe, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Also, you could say. Parallel universe, parallel thought. They both thought of it. <laughs> okay. Like he, you could also, I also think, especially Covenant, you could go, oh, okay, well, this is, this is. This is a metaphor. Yeah. Like it feel, a lot of that feels like kind of a religious metaphor where he becomes a godlike figure and blah, blah, blah. So maybe you could just say. Oh, God. No, you like it. Yeah. You're a no, I'm fan. yawning at a different thing. <laughs> okay, good. At a different boring thing. Great. I love that. <laughs> um, but you could say, okay, well, maybe that's a, le- you know, people around this galaxy have heard this story. This is how they were created. But actually they weren't. You yeah. Know? This, is the go- this is the God creation myth. Yeah. But maybe this new one is how it actually happened or something. Sick. How did it really happen? Oh, I meant to say this about the Jurassic World franchise. Remember they did that short when it was set in like a caravan park yeah, or whatever? Yeah. Like that. Like a movie, but it's that. Sure. And it's like dinosaurs in the real world and you're sure. like, you're camping, but there's a dinosaur and you're like, oh, this sucks. Yeah. You know, that. Mm, yeah. Anyway. No, I, I I agree though with you and the, the alien stuff. Mm. There is some not terrible ideas in that. And th- that character of David is interesting. And I quite like Covenant. Yeah. Yeah. There's some real stupid scientists in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that I like about it. The, oh, big spum here, Mason. You never guess what's next. <laughs> You've stepped in a big spum. I have accidentally. Yeah. Uh, it's Craven the Hunter. Yes, great. Finally. That's too late in the year. I think they should bring it up. August. I reckon they should bring it to February. Imagine seeing Deadpool 3 and then this. Yeah, the perfect oh, one-two sh- punch. That's in fact, I'm probably going to delay watching Deadpool 3 so I can do both yeah. in the same day. I'm not, sh- I'm not saying the Deadpool. Craven, then Deadpool 3. Sure. If Deadpool 3 is even still in cinemas then. But, but if not, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying Deadpool 3 is going to be amazing, but, uh-huh. it, but it will be like, you know, it'll at least be a look at this, look at this, look at this. Yes, and Craven's right. like, what if you watched a movie from 2002? <laughs> We but don't even have a look at this. It's go- it's There's gore- nothing to look at. <laughs> is it R-rated, though? Maybe. I would love to be wrong. Imagine yeah. if it's flipped and, like, this is the good one. Yeah. Especially of this year. Imagine- I like how you didn't say, imagine if they were both really good. You couldn't <laughs> comprehend the idea that they'd both be very good. <laughs> They're going to be both very good. Do you think that? What if, one- what if the one we thought was going to be okay was bad and the one we thought was terrible was okay? <laughs> In our wildest dreams. <laughs> I mean, so much of this is like, I mean, you look at the list last year, you just don't, you don't know. That's you know? true, yeah. Uh, September, Beetlejuice 2. Okay. Apparently Tim Burton's back for this one. I didn't Burton know that. Back. He's re-energized. He's married to Monica Bellucci. That'll do it, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we've got, this one I am looking forward to, Transformers 1, which is an animated origin story of Optimus and uh, Megatron and... Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth's in it. In it. Um, Brian Tyree. He's going to be playing. Is he going to be playing Weedy Optimus Prime before oh, he's Optimus Orion Prime? Pax. Orion Pax. I would love that. And then Megatron's like a, it's Brian Tyree Henry, and he's the story of him, depending on the version, I guess. He's a he's a gladiator, mm. and he becomes a revolutionary leader, etc., mm. and so forth. You've been reading more of that Transformer stuff that's been going on. No, but I should. Yeah, apparently it's very good. Mm. I read some of it, and the GI Joe stuff all folds in as well, and I see. Yeah, Void right. Rivals, and mm. yeah, it's a new universe, man, yeah. and it's a new time. Then we've got Saw X1. Okay. Why are you saying that this year? What do you care, man? <laughs> no, I don't know. Are you know. busy? I don't know. Are you busy? You got something else you need to do? No. To listen to me Cur- do this? Currently not, no. I blocked out this time, so I guess I have to suffer through whatever this is. You can say, are you not allowed to say 11 anymore? No. Oh, okay. This is what it says. This is what I'm doing. Okay. I'm not Roman. I don't do it but like that. But you can say that. XI. What? It doesn't matter. I don't do that. Okay. What do you think? They're really, they're churning these out, aren't they? Yeah. At what point are they going to just scrap 
every other Saw movie except for one. It'd just be like, this is the continuity and he can live for as long as we want. Or do you think they're just going to keep making movies in this pocket yeah, I think where John to, Corbin yeah. is alive? Because that's the, I mean, that is the character that, that is, that is the, the character that is compelling, I think. Yes. Or it's not that it's compelling, it's just that so many people dropped off after two or three or yeah. whatever it was. So nobody knows the... Going like, who's the guy again? Yeah, or it's the only the hardcore Saw fans that really know all the subsequent stuff. So really we've just got we've just got the main guy. So I think it, you have to... You have to. You have to. Because you, you also can't do... You, you, I mean, you, you can't, they might, you can't do multiverse shenanigans where it's like, well, in this universe he didn't die of a brain tumour and they get shot in the head or whatever. Yeah. So, and whatever he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I like the last one. I think they're probably just, I mean, because the last one also was just, it may as well be the present day. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I think they can just, they're just going to fudge the, they're going to do it spum style and they're just yeah. going to fudge the timeline a little bit and it'll be like, who's he after next? Is it the past? Maybe. You like we'll the, just only get vague looks at the You like the Chris Rock one though, didn't you? The bad no. one that they made? The bad no, I didn't kind like of that semi reboot that no. they made. No, I didn't like it, but also I couldn't tell you why I didn't like it. I've got no memory of why I didn't. I don't think you like liked it because it. it was bad. I think that's why you didn't like it. Yeah, it probably would have been the reason, <laughs> but the specifics are a mystery yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, the, so I liked in the last one, some of the traps were like you're on a blood seesaw. Mm-hmm. And then one of them was like, you have to saw your leg off completely and then stick a needle in it, which will put bone, take, draw out bone marrow mm-hmm. from your bone and then you got to put it on a little conveyor belt. Well, you had will... to think on his feet, you know. You had to really improvise that one, you know. That's so complicated. That's <laughs> two traps it worth is. of yeah, things yeah, going yeah, on yeah, there. Yeah. The you should have been just chop your leg off and stick it on a, a meat yeah. weighing scale or something. Exactly. That I got at the butchers. Feed it into a whatever. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, good on him. Anyway, look forward to Saw X1 in yeah. September. Um, October, we've got Joker. Oh, now here's a question. I mean, the the current trend is. Imagine if this is the good one. Make a musical. (laughs) I can't imagine. There's only going to be one good one. (laughs) Uh, the current trend is obviously make a musical, but don't tell anyone in previews Wonka. that it is the musical. And this is the ultimate example of this yeah. because we know it's been a musical for a while, but what are they going to put in the trailers? Well, Wonka, the new Mean Girls is a musical. Yes. I've not seen anybody talk about Mean Girls. I yet. think it did okay. Yeah, okay. And Tina Fey's still in it, whatever. That's involved. true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Tim Meadows, who I think is a delight. There you go. I like Tim Meadows. Absolute delight. Is it a sequel or John a remake? John Ham is in it. John Ham's in it? You'd, yeah, that's a good point. I don't know if it's a remake. Yeah. It must be a because it's based on the musical, right? It must yeah. be a remake because, unless there's a line in the movie where, like, some of the characters who are in the first one are like, "This is playing out exactly as it is." Yeah, and this woman has the same name as the woman from the previous movie. Great question. It must. It's it's a remake. Uh, it's got to yeah. be a remake. Uh, it's, it's it's a new movie based on the original 2004 film. It's not a direct remake, it according is. to Lorne Michaels. But I mean, it I mean, is, it's not a direct it, remake. But it's a it's an adaptation of the musical. Yeah, direct yeah. remake would imply that it's like that time Gus Van Sant made Psycho. Sure. But again, mm. exactly the same for some reason. Wasn't the reason... Because he wanted it in colour? <laughs> That's the reason. They're like, we could, we could colourise it for you. No, no, I want to spend yeah. millions of dollars. Wasn't the idea that it was, it was an experiment in seeing how modern audiences reacted to essentially the same thing or something? Yeah, you could do that or just re-release the movie Psycho. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, you're right. Good point. Anyway, they didn't like it. They fucking hated it. So I guess there's your answer. That is the answer. Uh, then we've got in October, Wolfman. Lee Winnell is making the Wolfman oh, movie. Yeah, he, did, he did Invisible Man. So mm. he's now in charge of the dark universe. Love it. And he appears to be doing a good job. Mm. Um, Has there been something between Invisible Man and this? No, there was supposed to be Bride of Dracula's wife and whatever. And sure, yeah, Frankenstein's yeah, Frankenstein's yeah. girlfriend. There was Dracula on a boat, there but that's Drac- unrelated count, yeah. and uh-huh. whatever. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's been a few Draculas since, but... There's always a Dracula. And there's there's yet to be another creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, where I'm is excited he? for that. They're just going to call it Lagoon. Lagoon. Or bo- creature. Lagoon boy. November. Yes. Getting close. Venom 3. We're back with Spum. It's going to cap off the Venom trilogy. What slimy goo man is he going to fight in this one? <laughs> Probably Riot? Probably or Riot. Or Fudge? Or Fudge. Fudge? He's going to fight Fudge. I don't know what the cast of this is. I've got no idea. But they make money. Well, you're a brown alien. You're like a fudge. Call me fudge. If you recall correctly as well in the last Spider-Man movie. Mm-hmm. See, the Google cast says that fucking Andrew Garfield's in it. Yeah, That's but Google, the true, Google yeah. results, are they're, they're, they've been destroyed. Yes, they really have. Try on DuckDuckGo. <laughs> Try the cast list on DuckDuckGo, James. It says Juno Temple's in it and uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor in undisclosed roles. Oh. Huh. Um, probably Fudge and Fage. Probably. Temple's role is said to be a lead character. So Fudge or Fage. Fudge or Fage. So there you go. Then we've got, oh, we're going to love this. I don't think I am. Red One. 
which is the Rock Chris Christmas, Evans Santa Christmas Claus movie, something, yeah, okay, whatever. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, straight Exclusive to Netflix. to Netflix, nice. It's the last gasp of movies that Rock made before now he's serious. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm serious I'm now. I'm serious, A24. Yeah. I'm a serious thing. Mm. Then we've got Gladiator 2. Mm. Fine. Uh, Ridley Scott, like the cast. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's all good. Then we've got Wicked Part 1. Musical. Based on the musical? Based Didn't they already music- do a Wicked movie? They made a uh, Wicked musical. You might nice. be thinking I love of, that. But no, they haven't made a Wicked movie. Huh. Mm. Do you think they're going to hide that it's a musical? Yes. Did, no, I don't know because – well, that's the thing as well because – People know Wicked's a musical. Well, I was going to say because it's interesting. My thought in, you know, speaking about Mean Girls was I know that they did the Mean Girls musical and it was very, very popular and that's why they may, they're they making a movie. Yeah. But I guess the musical audience is so much smaller yeah. than the movie audience because you'd think – I mean, did you know Mean Girls was a musical? Because I didn't. I did, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's been nice. But, but – but I, my feeling is, well, if there's a, you know, if there's a huge audience for musicals in, you know, live musicals, surely that would translate to, yeah, to the big screen. But I guess it doesn't. I, I think guess also that, sometimes it's just different audiences. You're yeah, appealing to different kinds of people. Yeah, you know? but I, but isn't a Wicked's been going for years, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, maybe anyway, do you think this is going to be Wicked? Yeah, I think it's going to be Wicked. All right. Yeah. December, the Lord of the Rings. The Wait, so the red oh. one isn't coming out in December? No, it's coming out in November. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta ramp up. You gotta ramp up. That's mm. true. Yeah. December, we've got The Lord of the Rings, The War of Rohirrim. No, we don't. Yeah, it's an animated, it's an anime. Can't okay. remember the director, but he's a famous anime director who's done okay. good anime. It's uh-huh. got Miranda Otto, who's from Lord of the Rings, but it's set like 250 years before Lord of the Rings. Okay. And it's about Helm Hammer Man, and it's got Brian Cox in it. And I don't know anything about it. Nobody really knows anything about it, but mm. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, so Miranda it. and Miranda Otto and Brian Cox are doing all the voices. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because she's she's only narrating. She's like, I remember okay. a time. Oh, there was an ancient story of a dude. Oh, good eye, boys. Good eye, boys. What are you doing here? Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Not yet. 250 years before, I think you'll find. Who's up, boys? Pump the brakes on that Lord of the Rings, mate. <laughs> you do Lord of the Rings in a couple hundred years, all right? Who's up? Who's up and settle down? We'll go to the pub. <laughs> We'll have a couple of, couple of bevs. We might do a war with him on the way. Can't That's guarantee right. anything. This is Japanese also, anime. Yeah. You familiar with that? It's popular, not here. It's very popular in Japan, though. <laughs> Mate, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. <laughs> Karate- it's like cartoons, let me finish, but for adults. <laughs> you're going to love it. <laughs> Karate Kid. Oh, yep. Uh, clean reboot, sort of. It's the oh, yeah. it's bringing together Jackie Chan and Ralph Macchio. It's combining the Karate Kid universe and maybe Will Smith's son. Yeah, I guess. And maybe Hillary Duff. Maybe not Hillary Duff. Yeah, maybe, maybe Hillary, Hillary Duff. Duff. Maybe Hillary Duff. Maybe Haley Duff. You're talking of Hillary Swank. I am. It's true. Yeah, Mufasa, the Lion King, which is the Lion King live action, but they're not live action. I know prequel. It's about how to scar get his scar, etc. Hate action. it. Awful. Yeah. Love it. But at least it's different. It's just yeah. a different story. It's not just the Lion King twice. Okay, sure. Imagine yeah. though, like we've done the Lion King and it's even more realistic. <laughs> yep. Get a slightly more upsetting. Get a boys. Real enough for you? Yeah. Like what you see? Yeah. <laughs> Thought you wouldn't. <laughs> G'day, boys. I'm Scar. Don't have a scar yet. So yeah, we go. <laughs> Are we going to acknowledge that it's just us doing a poor impression of Broden Kelly? No, Are we going to acknowledge gonna, that? It's different. It's a different voice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I said poor impression yeah. also. Mm, yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Uh, I didn't see 2. Cool. I, I don't like, mind it. Did James Marsden's back? Yeah, probably. Okay. Right. But they, I think Jim Carrey's not. Okay. This is one I think they kept filming during the strikes because you don't film anything. You get, you know what I mean? Like you right. film environments for a lot of it. And then you oh, put it's Sonic. just like second unit yeah. filming of nothing and then they put everything <laughs> in later. Okay, yeah. sure. Now, which Sonic side character is being introduced in this? Um, Did they the do one with Knuckles? The, guns, the one with the guns. Shadow. Shadow, Shadow the Hedgehog. Knuckles in the last one. Okay, right. Yeah. Right, love that. And to love ca- that for them. Love that for fans of Sonic the Hedgehog. Me too. Mm. Uh, and then to wrap things up for, out to, for the year, the Nosferatu movie. Which oh, has, yeah, Robert, with Eggers. Robert Eggers. It's got Willem Dafoe, I want to say. And Nicholas Holt again, yes, doing Nic- another Dracula-style movie. I'm another vampire Dracula movie. I'm Dracula again, boys. Mm. <laughs> um, hang on, let me check. I think Lily Rose, what, Taylor is in it, whatever her name is. Lily Rose Depp? Yeah, that one. No, maybe a different one. No, she is in it. Okay. Yeah, she's Alan Hutter. Okay. And Nicholas Holt is... Uh, Renfield Thomas. again? Uh, no, he's Thomas. Okay, so... Yes? 
Bill Sarsgaard is Count Orlock, so he's uh-huh. doing another creepy ghoul. Yep. Sure. Willem Dafoe is Professor Alban something. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's good stuff. The real, the real Ferratu heads out there are, are, are yelling at their at their podcatcher, being like, "That's not how you say any of those." Go back to a book, dumbass. <laughs> that's right. That's what I say to that. Yeah. Don't let the door hit the Nosferatu too on the way out. Nice, we got you. Yeah, we got you, idiots. <laughs> you stupid idiots. <laughs> Uh, TV shows. Mm-hmm. Some of these are dated, some are not. I'm just going to rattle them off. Okay. Uh, hot, quick TV shows. <laughs> All right, here we go. Avatar. Uh, wait, wait, what? Is the it? Last Airbender. Oh, whatever. yeah, right, sure. Mr. Okay. and Mrs. Smith. Oh, yep. That's I got happening. A push notification just earlier. Oh, I saw that. February. February. Maybe. Curb Your Enthusiasm returns for its apparent final season. I was going to say Mr. and Mrs. Smith actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it does they've, actually. They've, they've taken a different tack, which is that they it's know. Gonna make, it's going to be better than the movie. Probably. Yeah. They know they're, like, they're a couple and they're aware that they're both. In a movie. In a movie. <laughs> That's right. What's going on? How do we get out of this? <laughs> The movie stops. Do we die? Do we do we go out? Do we go into it? Can we escape through the cinema? Oh, streaming! Oh no! <laughs> Who's this lovely young couple? Are you trapped in a movie? Hello. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying he doesn't own the concept of blokey voices. He does. He's perfected it. I'll grant you. <laughs> but it, you can't. You can't make it exclusive. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. All right. All right. Okay. Do you tell him that next time? All right. You see him. All right. I will. I will. <laughs> Uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm back. Okay, yep. Um, you've been keeping up? No. Okay. What scrapes is he going to get into this time? The same, similar. Is it going to cover the fact that Cheryl Hines is married to RFK <laughs> Jr. in real life? And he's a weird lunatic, mm-hmm. but he can do a lot of push-ups maybe, mm-hmm. And he's but he's normal. Very He should normal. have made a normal man list, but I guess he's not in entertainment technically, is he? No. Though no. he's a very entertaining fellow. I don't think he's that entertaining. Anyway. No, I don't think he is either actually. Uh, Shogun. Oh, based on the James Clavell novel? Probably. Are they uh, also going to remake Noble House, James? I don't know anything about that. The famous amazing. miniseries of Noble House with Pierce Brosnan? Oh, that one. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, it's got Hiroyuki Sonata. It's got, like, I love this cast. They blew up that great. restaurant boat. Oh, my God. In, 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 there was a big that. fire on the restaurant boat in Noble House. <sighs> No, I didn't see that, Mason. If there's anybody on earth who knows what I'm talking about who listens to this podcast. Was this in the 80s? Email in. Yes, it was in the 80s. Yeah. yeah. So this is basically for like for anybody who's, um, I don't know, if you want a layman's version of this, this is like Game of Thrones, Japan. Sure, yep. Uh-huh. But not dragons. No. So it's more of a historical boring. epic. Yeah, boring. boring. You want a boring show? But no, hmm. I'm looking forward to it. The Three Body Problem, which is a book I'm currently reading. It's there you go. Chinese sci-fi mm. one. It's like a trilogy, but this is also based on no. So the people, are, the, it's the Game of Thrones guys. It is, yeah. And phew, let's see, Weiss and Benioff. Let's have a look. Yeah. So this is about a. It's a. It's a. Uh, it's an alien invasion, but they're getting there very slowly. I'm not up to that yet. Okay, right. Um, in the book. Okay. Um, so I don't know what's, <laughs> what's been happening so far. I don't know a lot of names. I don't know. Okay, great. Yeah. No, it's actually. I'm. In, I am enjoying it. Um, Do you think you'll stop reading it when the when the <laughs> show comes out? Yes. Great. Fallout. To, uh, the based on the video game? I've never really been a fan, but sure, let's see. Okay, great. X-Men 97 probably. Great, good. The Penguin. Oh, yeah. Matthew, whatever his name is, he's back, and Colin Farrell, etc. cetera. Mm-hmm. Agatha Dark Old Diaries maybe. Whatever it's going to be called. A couple more name changes yeah, before man. it comes out. All part of the plan. All part of the plan. The Acolyte, which is next Star Wars TV yeah, sure. show, uh-huh. which could be good actually. Is that going to be about some sort of Jedi apprentice and they go bad but then they're good or something and then they're a grey Jedi and they have a different coloured lightsaber? Uh, technically you can't be a grey Jedi, Mason. They made that very clear recently. <laughs> Did they? No such thing as a grey Jedi. <laughs> Who said that? The man in the big be... cowboy hat? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Did Mr. Cowboy Hat Man make a decree? G'day, boys. I'm just here <laughs> to set you straight. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Acolyte. It's got Carrion Moss. Okay, I like Carrion Moss. Creature Commandos, mm-hmm. first of the DCU, but for real this time, this one's counts. The other ones last year, the four that came out last yeah. year, they don't count, all right? Yep. But animated. But animated. And Welcome to Derry, which is an It prequel series. Oh. Now, Mason, the Derry Girls. you have to pick one thing for the year to watch. Nothing. What are you picking? Nothing. <laughs> silence. <laughs> Pure right. silence. I, only, I can pick one thing. Well, I've already forgotten everything you've said. So, all right, I'll give you some. Okay. Argyle, Madam Web, no, Dune no, Two, no, yes. Roadhouse, Ghostbusters, mm, oh, Roadhouse, King, Kong, oh, King Kong, Civil War, oh, no. Dracula Bar- Ballerina, oh, Dracula Ballerina, Rebel Moon Part Two, The Scar Giver. I reckon one of those first ones, maybe okay. Dune Two. Uh, Clint Eastwood plays out his childhood fantasies. Not Clint Eastwood, the other guy, Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner, <laughs> the poor man's Clint Eastwood. That's right. Planet of the Apes, Garfield, Furiosa. Um, I'm going to say. 
Even though it's not, uh, uh, Mickey 17 is the one I want to say. Well, it's not coming out. <laughs> Apparently not. So good luck, idiots. Yeah. All right, should we move it along? Yes. What are we doing? What are we reading? What are we going to read? What are we going to read? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Sorry, we had a roller coaster installed. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where all the budget went. That's right. I'm doing the theme. This is a segment of the show where we talk about things we've been watching, reading, or doing over the break. But not just over the break. Normally, it's just the previous week. That's now right. it's the break. We've had a big break. Uh, I'm only going to talk about one thing. Okay. Because, you know, I'm allowed to. Wow. What are you going to do? I want to talk about a number of things. Okay, go. Well, I was going to talk about Echo, but we've covered that. It was yep. pretty good. Uh, I, I had a free evening, so I'm like, I could go to the movies and I could see anything. And? I could see the movie The Iron Claw. Very oh. well regarded. Oscar snubbed, obviously. Sure. I could have seen, the poor, I could have seen poor things. could have seen Anatomy of a Fall. could have seen... Uh, all of us strangers could have seen Ferraris, could have seen The Holdover, Paul Giamatti, Oscar yep. nominated. I saw The Beekeeper. How was it? I thought it was fun. Great. So this was, it's David Ayer. He's John, out of director's jail. John Beekeeper. Yeah, John Beekeeper. So Jason Statham. Is he American? Yes. What? But there's a, there's a line in it where somebody goes, hmm, I notice a hint of an, like a, I notice a hint of a British accent because his accent's all over the place. What it's mostly British. That? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But anyway, yeah, for people who don't know, he plays a, he plays an ordinary beekeeper who lives on a lives on a little. He, li- he lives in a back warehouse. Oh, it's just a, like a little indie film. Little indie. Yeah, it's project. a little indie film, and he's a yeah. It's like the holdovers, but the beekeeper. Oh, great! And he he uh, he he's a he's a beekeeper, and he lives in a little shack on a lady's property. But then she gets scammed out of money by cyber crime hackers. Well, what? Uh, but then it turns out. But that, he's a simple beekeeper. No, it turns out he's he's a beekeeper, but he's also part of a beekeeping themed special forces team, or he was. And he's like, well, I'm going to kill everybody. Right. And to be clear, everybody. <laughs> He's going to kill everybody. Okay, and he yeah. does. And well, yeah, and I'll, I'll say justice is meted out somewhat uh, disproportionately. disproportionately. Like some, like some low-level guys are just absolutely torn to shreds and some like top-level guys are just like, he's like, get out of here. Kind of thing. There's really no rivalry. Oh, he's a it. lunatic. Yeah, he's a lunatic. But he's got to protect the hive, and by protect the hive, I mean the woman who's already dead. Yes. Yeah. Great. He's gonna, stuff. he's gonna get everybody. Well worth the price of admission. I thought it was fun. I, okay. It's. It's. Um. I think. I. You know. David Ayer has copped some stick in the last many years because he made Orc Cop. Because he made Orc Cop and also Suicide Squad. Which and he's he, been banging on about that for years. Yeah. But I think this is pretty solid. It's preposterous. That's okay. Um, it's John Wick esque, right? It, yeah. Yeah. I think. Look, and I think again, the the strength of it is Statham is really good at making martial arts look good. Yeah. On screen, there's I, there was some discussion this week. I think about like really, really top quality martial artists versus and and that doesn't necessarily translate to looking good on screen. But I think the action sequences in this are really very solid. Is look, it like look. a good ninety minutes? Is that how they do these things? It, it went by pretty quickly, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, we got we got Josh Hutch- Hutchison is in it <gasps> as, a, as some sort of gens. It's a little bit kids get off my lawn. Kids oh, okay. these days get off my lawn. What do you got a phone uh, for, et cetera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you need a phone when you could have a hive full of bees? With a, and a pie. <laughs> a pie full of bees. Oh, my God. You just have a pie full of bees. Have a pie full of bees cooling on the windowsill oh, like back in good. the old days. Uh, but it's pretty good. And it's got Emmy Raver Lampman, who is – she's in the Umbrella Academy. Yeah, she's okay, She's in the yeah. rumor in uh, the Umbrella Academy. I remember. So she, uh, she's, she's good in that. And, like um, that. Yeah, but, again, it's pretty preposterous and it, and it gets – it goes it, – it, it escalates to a pretty preposterous ending. Cool. So that's that's. Is they ever go into a room and it's like a hexagonal kind of beekeeper kind of like? No. What? Also, and I, what? Are you I'm, sure? I feel like we've maybe talked about this before, but he's really the only beekeeper in the in the beekeeper team who is a literal beekeeper. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So the rest of them are not beekeepers. No, there's not. I, it, I I guess I wasn't really expecting this, but I there was there was no like flashback where like there's a mentor character and he's like you know the important you know we're we're going to teach you how to keep bees because it's important it's a metaphor and it's, it's a little good. bald Jason Statham. Yes, exactly. That's right. Boy. I'm going to make the best bees. I'm going to keep all the bees. You yeah, know the thing about protecting bees is you're going to mm. kill everyone. Also, there is a quite a funny scene. And this is not really a spoiler, but there is a quite a funny scene where they do that thing where they. They're like, well, we're going to take care of him. We're going to hire this person. They're the best and the best. And he is like, he's the whatever. And then he just annihilates them. Oh, cool. Okay. You know one of those? That's you know, fun. like, yeah. uh, remember in that Transformers movie where they introduce all the new guys and then oh, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, they just get annihilated? Is that what happened in that movie? Yeah, Nitro Zeus. I think you're thinking of also um, it's a MacGruber joke. It might also be a MacGruber joke. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah Which yeah. was a good series yeah. recently. Mm-hmm. 
I watched a movie called Self Reliance, which was written, directed, and starring Jake Johnson. Also got Aaron Anna Kendrick in it. He's an everyday kind of schlub dude. Okay. And then a, and he's a super spy. No. Oh. And then a car pulls up one day. And he's and, a car race driver. No. And a, the window rolls down, and it's he's Andy, a window washer. No, and it's Andy Samberg. He's uh, Andy Samberg. He's literally playing Andy Samberg. He's playing himself, and he gets in. He goes, "Come with me." Oh, I'm this is like a um, somewhere. And he takes him to a, a it's weird, like a ready or not. So. Yeah, takes him to a weird warehouse, and the guy says, "There's two weird." Dutch dudes or whatever, and they're like, if you can survive us sending various assassins after you um, for a month, you get a million dollars. They might not even get to you uh, uh-huh. because this is a reality show. You're going to be filmed like for this. It's mm-hmm. for the dark web. Yeah, right. And he's like, sure, why not? But the, the twist is that if you're with somebody, they can't kill you. Right, because okay. they can't they can't endanger anybody else. That's so you have to it. like the, uh, the 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 strategy is to get into a relationship or something like yeah. that. Yeah, or just th- st- but the other thing is as well because he's kind of a deadbeat. Um, um, nobody believes him. Right. Uh-huh. So and nobody sees the things that are happening to him, and it's yeah, like right. is this really happening? Anyway, um, I thought it was really fun and cool. That's great and okay. interesting. And Jake Johnson is a delight. That man. is uh sort of the original plot of the Running Man. Oh, okay. you know how that you know the movie is based on. Stephen King writing as Richard Bachman. Yeah, yeah. The the original short story version of that is more like it's it's less of like a game show with colorful costumes and what have you. It's just a guy going around and he, the original story the contestants all have to film themselves. Oh, okay. And, so, right. and they have to send the videotapes to the the studio to make the show happen. It's hard work. It is hard work. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. that sounds fun. I did see the trailer for that and I Yeah, you should watch it. It's good. Maybe, what's it on? Can't remember. Can't it's not something. Okay, right. Oh, and here's two more things. Yep. So, show and tell time, Jay. Oh, no. Video this. This was on a lot of people's best of lists. Oh, yeah, you told me about this Comic book style. Because believe it or not, we actually sometimes hang out for real, but we That's don't record exactly anything. That's exactly right. Uh, so, it's uh, uh, written by Denise Camp and uh, illustrated by Stepan Morian uh, and lettering by Aditya uh, Bidikar. It's called 20th Century Men. I got it from All Star Comics in Melbourne, Australia. It's Watchmen esque, is it? Not? It is Watchmen esque. So it's sort of about the um, the Soviet invasion. It's Watchmen esque in the sense that it's about the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in the eighties, oh. except all the superpowers involved have an actual superpowered being. So it's, but it's uh, this looks awesome. It's a good like the art is sort of really dynamic. It's kind of like it looks like early um, Frank 300. Miller. Frank Miller, yeah, yeah, and it, it's sort of like. It's it's really kind of the art is sort of really free with kind of panel layouts and it's sort of like, but it's but it, yeah it's sort yeah, of. I mean, look how different it is. Look at him. Look at this guy here. And yeah, look yeah. at him here. He's like, look at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah but anyway. it's really solid. It's really you know it's. Uh, this looks great. It's good. You can James, you can borrow. Maybe, I would love to borrow maybe that. We'll actually. talk about it on the uh, our big sandwich classic comic book. Club. Ooh. But it, yeah, it's sort of uh, yeah, sort of uh, like Watchmen. It is about sort of real life events in a parallel universe where there are super powered beings but it's also you know about it's also our world etc exactly but it was a good it's a good good solid read i cool, think all right and the second thing i read yeah is i caught up on the marvel ultimate universe oh yeah you wanted to talk about this well i wanted to talk I think about this you, i believe you even said at length well, for a little bit. If, uh, At length, everyone. We do, we do have unlimited time. <laughs> and resources. Yeah, that's true. So for people who don't know, there is a new Ultimate Spider-Man book. Yes. Uh, written by Jonathan Hickman, Ooh. who's done a bunch of sort of... Comics. He's done a bunch of comics, certainly, but he's done sort of like a lot of big cosmic-style epics. He did Avengers. He did X-Men. Yeah. He, he's one of these... He's, he's a guy you bring in for a big epic now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Um, but I saw a tweet uh, from at Bug Trio on Twitter who said, this is from a couple of weeks ago, uh, who said, Kevin Feige, this will save your career. And it's a picture of mm-hmm. Miles Teller as Reed Richards in the horrible Fantastic Four movie that was bad. Yes. And then a picture of the maker, who is the the evil version of Reed Richards in the Ultimate Universe. He's always up to bad. Yeah. And so the, the very- Sometimes he has a big, long alien head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there's been a few Jonathan Hickman written- Ultimate Universe comic books and Ultimate Spider-Man is sort of the culmination of that. It's a new version of the old Ultimate Universe. For people who don't remember, yeah, uh, in the 2000s there were two Marvel comic book universes, two main ones. There was the original one, which is started in the 60s, and there was a new version called the Ultimate Universe, which was sort of like what if the Marvel Universe started in the modern day? Yeah. And it didn't have decades of history and, and all that sort of stuff. And, like, you know, here's some fresh origins and what would these characters be like what in the modern Wolverine, era? What if Wolverine, but whatever. What if Wolverine, but he what was tall Wolverine? What if Captain was the president? What if, yes, exactly. Um, what if Spider-Man, but Miles Morales? And when they went to make the MCU, they took elements from the old universe yeah. and, the, and the new universe. But eventually the ultimate universe sort of collapsed under its own weight. Yeah. Um, but it's it's back now. 
And the premise of this is essentially that the maker, who is the evil version of uh, Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic from this universe, has gone back into the past of this universe with a time machine Mm. and essentially has prevented a bunch of events happening that caused all the various heroes to have their oh, origins. Okay, yeah. Like it, he literally takes the the radioactive spider from Peter Parker's arm yeah. before it bites him and turns right. him into Spider Man. So this version of this this version of Peter Parker, it's the present day, and he's just a he's a, he's a married dad. He's got mm. a couple of ginger kids, and he works at the Daily Bugle with his uncle Ben. <gasps> They're dealing with the fallout of a big kind of event that's happened in in a previous Ultimate Universe comic book. Yeah. Uh, but events conspire, and he's given the op- the the option of like, do you want to become Spider Man? Because you never had the chance; it was yep. robbed of you. And here it is. You want to do it? And what's going to happen? And I think it's good. And he uh, says no. He says no. He's like, I'd rather not. Yeah. I got these kids. I got a job. <laughs> Everything's fine. Who are his kids? Are they new? They are new. Yeah. They're not, it's not May Parker and a different. Because he's got Parker. different kids, depending on the universe. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Mm. Uh, it's good. I would recommend if you people want to read it. Uh, there was a series called, it was a four issue series, I think, called Ultimate Invasion. I want to read. And this. there was a comic book called Ultimate Universe. Mm. They've all come out in the last year or so. Read those, and then you read Ultimate Spider Man. Okay, it's good. Ultimate yeah. Universe. Punch it's a in. little bit like, and I know you've read this. Uh, Mark Miller's Wanted. Yeah. In that the oh, that's the story of that. Yeah, the the maker has sort of created a world in which he rules from the shadows because there's no heroes to stop him. Yes. And it's like, and a and a and a, and a team is like, we're gonna get, we're gonna we're gonna fix this. We're actually, not a, a, a like team. This. Sort of, you know, a bunch of significant people learn that this has happened, and they're like, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna restart. We can't restart the universe, but we're gonna we're gonna start from here. Start from here. Yeah. yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna. We're gonna I like that idea a lot. Yeah, it's good. All right, should we move it along? Yeah. To letters? Yeah, we can do letters. I, I bet you've, letters. I bet you've had do this do, whole time I've been away. We can do letters. You've got the letters theme ready. We, you, we can do letters. For any moment. We can do letters. We can do that. We can do it. We can do it right now. <laughs> Classic one was the letters. Oh, letters. Good leveling. Thank we you. love you. Some letters. They're only a day away. We're going to hear right now. We're going to do letters. Whoa! Mm. If you want to do letters, guess what? We can do letters. We're going to do them. Uh, if you do want to reach the show, you can hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on a dying Twitter platform or weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. I think that it's going from strength to strength. Yeah, you're probably right. That's right. Certainly a lot of things going on. Yeah. Here's an email from Coy. Yes. Uh, hey, mates. Big hello from Kansas. Woo. I've been listening to, t- to you two for years now. I wanted to say thank you. You guys have helped me smile through some tough times. I listen to you almost every day, or at least enough that my girlfriend knows you two as the Australians. Like that. That's us. I have a question for both of you. Recently, I started watching an anime called the Zom 100. Oh. Uh, the premise of the show is that the main character has a bucket list of things he wants to do before he turns into a zombie. So my question for you both is, if you're in a zombie apocalypse, what's one thing you'd want to do before you turned into a zombie? One thing I'd want to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would yeah. it be a cool? Could it, do I have to do like a cool thing? Or I can no, do you like have to a do normal a thing. Bad thing. Oh. No, you can do a cool thing. What do you want to do? No, I, I meant like a cool thing for me. Like I just want to spend time with the people that I like, Mason, with my mm, family. Okay. Well, you could do that, but everybody has a gun. Yeah, and the true. instant you turn, they're like they all turn on you, and they're like bang, 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 bang. I guess I could kill somebody that sure, I don't yeah. like. Yeah, that's so I'd probably great. do that. Yeah, that's great and yeah. positive, and I like that. Yeah. What would you do? Uh, ice and I'd spend time with my family. Ice cream. Oh yeah, I'd probably get an ice cream on the way back. <laughs> Kill a guy and then come get right. Yeah, why? Why not treat yourself? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's. Oh. I reckon. I, mean, I didn't say guy. Yeah, I just have to think. Who could I kill? I guess the what I would probably do. We could kill Broden, and then we could use the pressure would be ours. That's true. Yeah, that is very true. <laughs> mm. Um, I reckon I'd probably do some stuff. I mean, I guess how it depends on how much infrastructure is left in the world. Yeah, yeah. But I would so I would do some stuff that I wouldn't do in real life because I'm pretty confident I'd die doing it. Like I would go skydiving, for example. Oh, okay. Because what's the worst that happens? I go splat. I'll yes. be fine for a while. You know? Uh, no, you. You'd splat. Yeah, but I'm going to do that anyway. Yeah, I guess that's a good yeah, point. But all my family are going to shoot me. Yeah, so. <laughs> and that's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'd probably do that. Would you do tandem or solo? Uh, I would probably do, I mean, tandem would be funny, especially if I turned into a zombie midway down that and would I'd be start biting yeah, them. Yeah. And they would land as a zombie. That would be funny. I mean, they would also be on your back, so you'd have to be able to be fighting away, but yeah. you couldn't get to But them. I reckon if I've turned full zombie, I could twist my entire head around. That's true. Yeah. That's good thinking. That is good. <laughs> Thank you. you got to think on your feet in a zombie apocalypse. Or in this case, in the air. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Very good. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Or try out some different sandwiches. Now, like, am I like, like, oh, I'm not feeling too good before this happens, or am I like fine? I reckon you're mostly fine. Okay, I'm gonna say yeah, we're yeah. going mostly fine. Yeah, yeah, cool. This is the universe. We're go- turning on a zombie. It's mostly fine. Yeah, yeah I don't think that's I crashed good. my car into a storefront. <laughs> Great. 
Yeah, good. Is it a store I don't like? No. Nah. Wouldn't it be cool? Well, yeah, I think it'd be cool, yeah. Yeah, don't you like see JB Hi Fi? Yeah, you see like the 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 like the footage like in, inside a store as a car crashes yeah. into it. And everybody's like, whoa. Yeah, it always looks real cool. Yeah. That's when nobody cool. dies, mm. but in this case somebody might die when I do it. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Great. Uh, this one's from Bad Cat who says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. So Matt, Pat, and Tom Scott have both decided to leave YouTube and for reasons I'm sure you are feeling too. Uh, yeah, sometimes. I know it's coming sooner or later and I already miss you. Keep the podcast though. Um, we don't, yeah, no plans. No immediate plans to, to leave anything because oh. this is a job. It is, it's true. I, you got to have one. At the risk of like this sounding like I'm doing this because I don't want to. I have to do this. <laughs> okay. I don't have to. I could do something else. You could do something like, else. You could buy a real job, mate. Yeah, no. I you don't could w- work in the mines. I don't want to do that. You could, um, I want to do this. Okay. Yeah, if I had one more day, I'd do this. <laughs> Great. You wouldn't work in the mines? No. Interesting. So, no. I can see why. I mean, those guys, I mean, Matt Pat's been doing it for, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. And at a very high, he does it at a different level than what well, we Tom do. Well, Tom Scott at. as well. And Tom they, Scott. Is, they do like big yeah. experiences and it's like, I'm going to get in a zero yeah. G thing or whatever. And it's like, well, we're always in a zero G thing. Exactly. We're used to it. It's not we interesting. Yeah. Boring. God. Why would anyone even want to see this? Yeah. Yeah. And like obviously watching movies and then being like, what do you think of this movie? It's, it's different. It is different. And being like. It hits different this than being room in a zero has G. slightly more air than this other room or whatever he does. Yeah, What's yeah, he yeah. doing? Yeah. I don't know. Good day, boys. We're in a room with slightly <laughs> different air than the other room. <laughs> That's great, I'm Tom Scott. Take a breath. Notice anything different? Didn't yeah, that's right, different air in this room. <laughs> same guy, I'm assuming. Yep, same guy. Indiana Jones. It's Indi- <laughs> exactly right. Uh, this room full of full of different air and poison darts. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, he set it up, did he? Yeah, yeah. You got another from, one? This is from Jack. Jack. Hey there, James and Meso. Ah. I absolutely love the podcast and Caravan of Garbage. Well, man. I'm unfortunately submitting myself to Robert Zemeckis' CGI nightmare of Beowulf and was wondering if you I've two would that. consider doing a series on this strange genre. Yeah. It's from Lacey. It says Jack, and then it says sending all my best from Lacey. Okay, I don't so, know what to make of that. I don't know. But also, what's interesting about that, I think, is as a genre, it's just Robert Zemeckis. Yes. <laughs> like, it's just So you're saying Express. we do Back to the Future. And then we do Back to the Future 2 and 3. And then we do all his Polar Express Well, that's movies. what I'm saying. Like, it's just the – didn't he do, like, three or four just freaky CGI yeah, was, motion there capture? There was a – Polar Express. There was a Christmas Carol one. Yeah. Did he do Mars Needs Moms? Maybe. And he did that one recently, Malcolm, Welcome to Marwin or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. And it was, like, Steve Carell. I'm a sad a, soldier. Had a, but, no, but he's not really. And he had a trauma and he's – Yeah, I'm a sad and soldier he, And toy. he did Forrest Gump. This dude yeah. did fucking Forrest Gump. Hmm. Did he do Mars Needs Moms? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, it's weird because he just got caught in that idea of doing like these kind of movies. Yeah. No, he did Pinocchio. You saw that, didn't you? What was that I, like? It was bad and I hated it and you tricked me into doing it. <laughs> I didn't trick you. This is my year, James. I'm going to trick you into seeing it a movie. It was unintentional. <laughs> so, yeah, we'd have to do – Pollock says Babel for Christmas Carol. Yeah, he didn't do Mars Needs Moms. And he's got a movie coming out this year called Here. It says if you want to watch this, though, you have to make sure you've seen Pinocchio 2022. Have you seen that? I've seen it. I didn't like it. You tricked me into doing it. <laughs> oh, this, so the movie that is out this year, it stars Tom Hanks and Robin Wright, who he's worked oh. with before. The story covers the events of a single room and its inhabitants spanning from the past well into the future. Wow. Okay. Does it have different air, this room? It doesn't say anything about that, boys. Wow. <laughs> we got a tweet here from Ricky Reacts. Who says, Ricky says, so the new After Midnight show basically did your entire letterbox review bit, like even the part that Meso ha- uh, hates the, m- the most. So, yeah, if people might have seen this, as Ricky pointed out, people send it to us. Um, we, we have videos where we um, go guess the review, or Mason uh-huh. has to guess the review from the terrible review from Letterboxd, and the show did this. Also, people know this, we took this idea from BuzzFeed. Like a you BuzzFeed. took this I idea. Did, yeah. I didn't know. I was innocent in this, in Look, this so blatant theory. Whoever owns BuzzFeed, please don't sue Mason specifically who made me do it. It's a big conglomerate. <laughs> no, who knows? It's an AI owns it yeah. at this point. Um, so, look, we don't own this. Um, and it's, yeah, I guess it's it, they could have seen it and then decided to borrow it. But it's different in terms of, like, they throw to a comedian with the quote and they pick a silly answer. Mm. Like where, where ours version is like, it's more of a psychological test of wills. That's exi- exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. So no, I saw it, and I, I, it doesn't. I'm not too fussed mm. by it. Um, are you? No. Yeah. Should yeah. I be? Yeah. Great. Should be mad. Here's one more email, mm-hmm. uh, and I'll leave the name for the end. 
All right. Hi, all. Felt I need to write in and warn you about how dangerous it is to listen to the Weekly Planet whilst exercising. Oh, here we bloody not a, go. Not a problem for me. Blaming, blaming me again for this. Tonight was the first time back in the gym since Christmas and festive flu. I almost dropped the barbell on top of myself while laughing uncontrollably at the Best Of podcast. I thought I was prepared for the best of having heard all of it before. Clearly not. <gasps> uh, the gym session had to stop for me to listen and laugh. Thank you for always improving my mood. You never cease to make my week better. Uh, that's from William B. Nuggets. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Great name. Thank you, William B. Nuggets. Glad you're alive, William B. Nuggets. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What kind of exercise? G'day, man? boys. It's me, William B. Nuggets, mm. just having a good time here at the gym. Oh, no. Just going to lift some big heavy weights and put my bloody ear pods in and listen to the Weekly Planet. Ear pods. <laughs> know what they are? AirPods. Well, that's what he says. <laughs> William. Yeah. <laughs> I blaze my own path. It's me, William B. Nuggets. I'll call them ear pods if I want. That's what we like about you, William. Thanks. Thanks, boys. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Thanks, boys. This <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> the room's probably filled with traps. Yeah. Um, this is from Manda Man. Oh, yes. It was always very kind. Uh, she says, hello again, mates, and happy 2024. Yes. I'm pointing at you. That's what I'm saying. Happy 2024. You don't want to say it back? Oh, thanks. <laughs> wow. So disingenuous. Yeah. I know he gets his thanks every episode, but just want to take my chance to formally praise the great You're Rob. You're welcome. No, the oh. great Rob Collins. Oh. He's truly the best of us, always kind and helpful and genuinely a uh, wonderful stand-up human from Amanda. Yeah, yeah. he is. He's terrific. Uh, oh, I didn't finish my thought about the Kevin Feige thing. Oh, yeah. We talked about the, the, oh, okay. yeah, the, yeah, the, the Ultimate Universe and what whatever. Happened? Well, I was going to say that the thing about it is that – if if a, a lot of the future Marvel projects seem to be like just recombining all the old stuff, and we're we're getting the 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 Fox uh, X Men universe and all this sort of stuff, and we're get, we're getting cameos from all the old stuff, uh, I think that actually is a great idea to get the Miles Teller Mister Fantastic, yeah, and be like he's from a universe that sucks, yeah, like the makers the makers uh, goal is to create a more perfect universe because mm. in the in the previous ultimate universe like all his family died and you know all the the universe was destroyed and he had all this trauma and all this sort of stuff mm. so you and we, we you know marvel's like what do we do what do we get rid of we need to get rid of kang or yeah what are we going to do with kang now and the, I, I guess the idea would be you what you what i think you would have to do is you'd have to do the new fantastic four movie mm. and you make it like full of Fun and family it's and life and and, yeah. and, you, and it's just a nice time. And then you like post credits. You have this version of yeah, uh, Reed Richards, who was in a universe that's grey and yeah. sad, and like it was over before it started. Yeah. And hello, boys. You'll never guess where I've been. It's <laughs> exactly right. Went into the Phantom Zone or whatever it's called. Well, exactly. And that's fucking awful. That's the ultimate universe version of the Fantastic yes, Four because they didn't they didn't go into space. They went into this weird alternate. Dimension full of green goop or whatever, yeah. and so what? And it's the universe where, like, before they were even a team, Ben Grimm had killed all these people. Like, it's on, it's in his yeah, military file or whatever. So just have this universe. Just go, okay. Well, it's and this version of Reed Richards also hates Kang. Like, they have a pre-existing yes. rivalry. So you just have a version where he he sees this universe, and it, you could just go, well, this universe is dead on arrival. Just say like. The radiation killed everybody except him. Yeah. Like then, and he looks at this version of the the Fantastic Four, and they all love each other, and everything's great, and like, what a colorful universe. And he's in this sad well, universe well, where, well, he's a, where, he's a, where he's a twenty five year old high school student oh, or whatever man. it is, yeah. and he could just be like, "This is the universe I want, and I'm going to take it," kind of thing. And I think that would be cool. I love that idea. Yeah. But again, you'd have to. What you have to do there is you have to knock out the Fantastic Four straight away, and I don't mean in a bad way. Yeah. You just have to be like, we love these. Yeah. You just have to be like. Here's the Fantastic Four's origin. They went into space. They got powers. They're back. Yep. Two seconds. Then they have an adventure. There's yep. no time to be like. And at the end, they finally put on the uniforms and they go, "Here, what's we're fantastic. what's our names? I don't know. We're pretty fantastic, though, aren't we? Credits, right? You just have to have. They're the fantastic. You can even just go the thing that I think I've I've wanted to have for a while. You just say they've been in space for ten years. Yeah, yeah. And they've been having adventures, and it's great, you know. And yet they already maybe the maybe Reed and Sue already have kids and they're married. Yep. It's, We've seen it. Well, they're of, older in this as well. Yeah, yeah. Pedro Pascal's like 50 Yeah, we've seen it in the you know in the previous movie. So just be like they have kids and they have a, all this sort of stuff and it's what a great unit. And then yeah, and I think also for that you really have to commit to what long term, like which which of the MCU was 
relatively good uh-huh. at, I guess. Yeah. But just be like, no, we do have a plan for this. We're going to do this version. We're going to yeah. establish it. And then we're going to introduce the worst guy in the world. And also people would love that because it's a guy they've seen before. It was in a bad a thing, but it was the guy they've seen before. So. Yeah, they boys recognize anybody, me specifically? That's right. It's me, the evil Reed Richards. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> But not good. No, but evil. I'm evil, though, to be clear. To be clear. To be clear. You're the good one. And you give him the big elongated head. Give him the big head. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, please. That is the show for real. <laughs> you, you introduce him in silhouette so people are like, is he Mac tonight? Yeah. <laughs> is this banana coming through a portal? Mm. Yeah. That is the whole show. What a, what a bloody ripper. What a bloody ripper agree. of a first episode. Long enough for you. Dudes. Dudes. And, and f- folks, everybody. Whoever. Yeah, good, good, good for you. Yeah, good for you. Must that, be nice to listen good. to such a long podcast. That's right. Good for you. Think of the people recording it. Yeah. Think of how hard they work. That's right. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm doing this year. Get that's, aggressive. That's right. The people listening to a thing and yeah. giving me employment. That's right, folks. Thank you so much for listening. We absolutely appreciate it, especially if you've stuck around through the bloody break. Oh, not right. Uh, thank you for telling your friends about the podcast. Thank you for subscribing on your podcast catcher of choice. Thank you for leaving a five-star review because if you do – you get a hundred dollars. That's right, and James will also read it out yep. on the podcast, which is probably of more value. And you probably wouldn't be yes. mad if we didn't send you that. If I read it out, that is the equivalent of a hundred dollars, at least. Yeah, Got a maybe two hundred dollars. Maybe you owe us a hundred dollars, <laughs> which I will accept. Mm. This is from July sixth, twenty uh, twenty eleven, Wednesday, ten thirty two p.m. It says, "Stop calling me Mason. We've already hung out." On more than one occasion, despite you and I being best friends, you are also best friends with all the other listeners and they deserve your attention too. That's, That's true. true. That's true. But I do have time, so. That's true. This is from Joe Perrin 89 who says, best entertainment podcast out there. Been listening to The Weekly Planet for a few years now and it's easily the best entertainment podcast I've come across. I love Nick and James's banter and reviews. Thank you so much. Me too. Uh, a rare, earnest review. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like a trick. Yeah. It's probably one of those acrostic poems where if you look at the first letter of every line, it's like, you dumb asses. <laughs> Uh, what else, Mason? Folks, uh, if you want to follow some people on the socials, first of yes. all, you can follow our friend Rob Collings. He edits this podcast. He makes videos. He does all sorts of crazy stuff. Yes. He's at Rob Collings on Twitter. He's at The Weekly Planet on Twitter. Uh, yes. You can follow myself. Uh, I am Wikipedia Brown on Twitter and Nick Mason on Instagram. James is Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere. everywhere. If you want to bloody congregate and have a good fun time having a big chat, yes. why wouldn't you? Uh, you can go to The Weekly Planet podcast subreddit and discord you can go to the planet broadcasting great oh. mates facebook group you can have fun civil chats about podcasts and pop culture thank you to fidel and Maisie and sarabi for doing all the moderation over oh. there they're keeping it cool and keeping it clean oh. uh if you want to support the show you can go to patreon.com slash mr sunday movies oh. chuck in a buck if you're any amount you would not miss or you can go to big sandwich.co nine us dollars per month bonus podcasts movie commentaries early videos so much video stuff game over the plays. as well it's all sorts of stuff yeah it's a good time it is. Uh, We've got a Doom. Uh, the latest one of uh, Never Go Back is oh, Doom. That's right. Yeah, we play a bit of Doom. Together. Doom yeah. original Doom. That's right. That's fun. Uh, folks. We played Terrible Aquaman game last time. Oh, that's true. We did it. So well. ter- ter- yeah. terrible. So dreadful. Uh, if you want a T-shirt, you go to tpublic.com. Search for The Weekly Planet. Thank you to The Brute and The Basilisk and Rack and Fruit music- musical themes. And as a podcast, next, next week a different thing. Um, that movie that we said. Which one? Argyle, maybe. Oh, well, let's, yeah, let's watch Argyle. Let's watch Argyle, maybe. Let's watch Argyle. Cool. All right, thanks, everyone. Grab that jammy, guys. We'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming back. Yep. Not you, Mason. Oh. <laughs>